killed you. Hello, everybody. I'm Jarrett Reddick. And this is a podcast. Jarrett goes to the movies. Hopefully you have seen or heard one of my many musical endeavors. And if you have, then you know how much I love movies. This is movie commentary with no movie knowledge. This podcast is me and my friend Rich talking about movies that we like. But my name's on it because I'm famous. This is Jarrett Goes to the Movies. Still. Okay, we're starting now. When I think of my wife, I always think of her head. I picture cracking her lovely skull. Which one? Unspooling her brains. Sorry. Trying to get answers. The primal questions of any marriage. What are you thinking? How are you feeling? What have we done to each other? Hi, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) That's how Rich and I often felt about each other. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Shut up, Shannon. (laughs) Uh, I love you, too. (laughs) Hi, everybody. My name is Jarrett. This is the greatest intro ever in the history of Jared Goes the Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hey, Jared. I, I will, I'm going to fucking be... I just got to put this out there right... This is not what I thought I was going to be watching. I really didn't. I thought I was watching some chick flick. I thought it was going to be some... I, honestly, I can't believe it didn't star Vince Vaughn. I just heard Gone Girl, and I'm just like, <laughs> okay. It's going to be Vince Vaughn. He's going to be like... He's going to be just going like, well, I can't believe you got one the, 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 the other thing. And then, then I would just was be that, like, was okay. That Howie <laughs> no, I just Vince Vaughn. Was that good? Uh, uh, no, was it Howie Mandel? It was Howie Mandel. It really was. It was a Super America's bit. Got yeah. Talent. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know what? America has said, and they have voted, and you are one of the people on America and the list. <laughs> And if you actually watch the show, that's freaking spot on. No, I, uh, this is not what I expected from this movie at all. And, and the thing was, is as we sat down from, I, I had just gotten back in town from Los Angeles. Hi, everybody. My name is Jared. Hi, Jared. Uh, I had just gotten back in town from, uh, what a lot of people call LA. <laughs> I like to call it Los Angeles. Uh, and, uh, I was there, I was working on an album that I'm doing right now, and it's going to be out December 7th with uh, with Kelly from Kel- from the Dolly Rods, and we, we we did a lot of work. I get home, and I say to Casey, I'm like, hey, I'm going to sleep for a while, and uh, then when I wake up, we'll watch the movie. And uh, so I, I, I probably got in bed by about 7.30 that day, and then she woke me up at what seemed like 8.15, but I think it was more like noon. Yeah. <laughs> and she needed a Chipotle right then. Absolutely. And we went there. Mm-hmm. We chipotle And then we brought it home, which means I probably could have just gone and got it and brought it home. <laughs> I really didn't need to wake up, did I? The whole time. So, you know, some you car companionship. Yeah. Actually, and here's what's funny about it. I go, all right, I'm going to go with you, but I think you should drive because I'm super tired and blah, blah, blah. Then we get in there. We're halfway there. And I go, wait a minute. I'm fucking driving. Why am I doing this? <laughs> He got in the car first. Yeah. Also, anyways. it's better to go by yourself, like somewhere like that, because you got a salad and I got like a big fuck off burrito. <laughs> and if I had gone there by myself to get our orders, I'd be like, I know it's a lot of stuff, in that burrito. Anyway, my salad. Yeah. Just chicken. You know, On my instead salad. of just being like, no more cheese. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's uh, but this is this movie surprised the shit out of me. And uh, to be honest, it's it, there's been a bit of a buildup. There has been. So rich with me as always is rich. Hey, Jerry. And uh, so there's been a buildup in a couple of ways, actually. And uh, so Rich had said, hey, uh, you know, Shannon has been on the show a couple of times. Mm -hmm. But if we ever do Gone Girl, my ex-wife, which one? Shannon. The first one. (laughs) Wants to be on the show. Right. So and then and then we moved some shit around, right? Some stuff got moved around because yeah, it was supposed to be last week, and we just swapped. We last swapped week with some this stuff week. around. But then uh, Casey's best friend, that's a girl, who <laughs> if you call her, if you say that, so Casey's best friend's a boy. His name's Gabe, and if you call him her best friend in front of Sarah, 
she gets really super pissed and she, and fuck it, she knows karate. It's been going on for like fifteen and years. So here's the thing. So I uh, so and she won. And so I said, look at the come do a podcast. Right. You know, and her husband Mike is the shit. Yeah, Gabe's yep. done a couple. I'm sitting I'm right next shit. to me. You know, it's come well. on, like come on in. So uh, and they pick Gone Girl. So now we got a full house. We're in here. We got uh, Rich is here. Uh, my lovely wife Casey is here. Hello. Sean Silent 316 is here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I am glad to be here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's almost as good as I Say This All The Time by Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Was not good. That is un fucking believable. <laughs> I missed the semen in my butt. And All right. so, uh, so... Also, hey, uh, hi, baby. How are you? Hi, I'm good. I haven't <laughs> seen you. I started working today. At, I haven't seen you in like three weeks. <laughs> it's been crazy, right? Yeah. Shit's been nuts. Um, I started working. I, I texted her today, and I woke up, and I was just like, she had to take Everett into school early because he had like this assessment thing, and I just woke up, and I'm just like, I'm sick for real. Like, I, I don't feel good. Right. And I am. I, don't, I really am. Well, you, you're covering up well. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I do way better than you do, by the way. Yeah. And uh, yeah, remember whenever you gave remember whenever you gave me a, the flu and then did a whole rant about why you shouldn't get flu shots. That was the shit. <laughs> <laughs> but uh case has been great. And uh so I'm this it's good to be back here. Sean, uh son of a bitch, came in today, hooked up all the new shit. Uh with us tonight, of course, Rich's ex wife. Which one? The first one. Shannon is back. That's me. Yeah, you've been here. This is is this like your fourth time? Third. Third. Third time. Yeah. Now the, the first f- one just went really late, so it felt like two. Now <laughs> the did. first time you came here, oh, you boy. brought in uh now Rich was That was adamant. the breakup episode, right? He and Rich was like adamant about he brought the right alcohol in here for you. Uh-huh. And uh and he had like he made sure that you had a glass up here in advance and all that shit. And uh, and then today, uh, you, by your third time, you come in. You got your. You brought your own alcohol. Yep. And uh, and then and we had to open send, my own bottle. And Casey gave me a glass. We had to yeah, send like, down solo for cups a glass, in the hall. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so it was kind of like our marriage. It started off strong. Uh. <laughs> 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 by the way, That's David Dooley, uh-huh. who you just heard laugh. Fucking fell down over a runner <laughs> yeah. in the hall and broke his goddamn elbow. What? Yeah. When? True story. Like two weeks ago. Man, so we're not going like to any cool steakhouses for. Yeah, we're we'll probably still going. Right. It'll be fine. Yeah, he can still eat. Now Sarah is here. <laughs> Sarah is uh, injured. I don't want to go places I'm injured. A lot of people don't know this. Now Sarah in junior high was the bob- oh, body double for Avril Lavigne. Damn it! <laughs> it follows you everywhere you go. <laughs> oh, Sarah, you got to talk right into the mic. Yeah. That's, I don't have any words right now. I right. No, Sarah that. is... Uh, it's always is, fun when you make those friends that you can tell your deepest, darkest secrets to. And, and then, then that they friend tell just everyone. tells everybody yeah. constantly. Good. Yeah. Sarah is uh, Casey's friend that they, they confide in one another. And uh, back in the day, which we've talked about here on this program many times where I, uh, I didn't know that Casey and I were dating yet. Uh, I did, which was weird. She did. <laughs> and I was unaware that that's what we were doing. I, I just thought, hey, we're just, every once in a while we see one another. We're His having girlfriend a great didn't know either. Yeah, she didn't. Yikes. Uh, but Sarah had my back for some stupid reason. And I still don't know. And she and I have never even had this conversation. <laughs> Swear to God, I have never even talked to her about this. But for some reason, Sarah told Casey, that dude's the right guy. And here we sit. And here we sit. And here we sit. So that's great. <laughs> and here, and uh, now... Uh, Sarah's husband Mike is here. Mike is uh, also known as Mike Fox. He's the main event. He's a wrestler. He's a great fucking dad. He's a good guy. He doesn't drink a lot, which means <laughs> when he comes over, I only have to buy a twelve pack of beer. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, because I just drink all of it. Right. And uh, it's nice. It's nice to have you guys here talking about Gone Girl. Rich, what is new in... Uh, are we allowed to talk about that? Like your actual life when... Uh, sure. Life. When which one is here or... Sure. Yeah. She's yeah. married. You know that, right? 
today. <laughs> oh. No, it's Sorry. still married. No, I know, but I know, but I know. I mean, there obviously there's a bunch. Of, how is Tinder going? Uh, Tinder's you. fine. Yeah, gone on a couple of dates. <laughs> We're really nailing this one, guys. Yeah. Um, you have gone on a couple of dates. Yeah, I've gone on three dates now. Um, the last one went really what well. What about the girl? Yeah, the last one went really well. Is it the one that we thought was out of your league by the picture? She's totally out of my league. Did yes. you actually meet her? Yeah, no, that's the last third. The third date was her mom there. Her mom was not there. <laughs> that's sure? a good sign. That's yeah. a good sign. Okay. <laughs> but uh, no, I think I screwed it up in our last oh, note what'd today. You do? Uh-oh, what'd you text? Trump her? thing today. What'd you text? Her? Trump <laughs> thing. No. Got to be a Trump thing. No. That's how you lost your brother. No, I made a joke. <laughs> lose your brother. I mean, did you lose your brother? I made a joke and it didn't go over well. Yeah. You yeah. lose your she, brother. She got mad and I'm like, oh, I what thought was the, you what was the knew joke? I was What's kidding. Can you tell us what the yeah, joke you was? Have to just say it. You got to just tell us the joke. We're, um, all right. oh, we can wait. That's fine. Wait. You last edit week, this last anyway. Week I did like a 15 minute segment. It was over in my pants anytime yeah, I do anything. Say, so you got yeah, text is the worst. That's risky. I think I might never text again. Text is the best, but you have to speak in complete sentences. No, it's not that. It's you just... answer everything as if if somebody goes, hey, did you see that bird? And you're supposed to go, yes, I just saw that bird. It was a very beautiful bird. If you're both in the same spot where you could see the same bird, why are you texting each other? Life. Got it. That's <laughs> did you mix up the your and your again? Is oh, that no. what did it? Deal yeah. breaker. That is no, I'm pretty good about that. Nobody likes that. I'm paranoid about language since since with her sure um all right so here it goes ready so we're doing this thing where we go back and forth and ask questions and so i asked i go we had done a few questions and my my next question was okay in your past relationships you usually break up with them or do they usually break up with you good question right solid yeah and she said i usually break up with them i can elaborate more tomorrow going to sleep now okay fine i said all right sounds good night says good night then you think about it for a little bit no no no. so the next day like at the end of the day it was like eight o'clock or something i go okay so you were gonna elaborate about how you get guys to fall head over heels for you before you eventually rip their hearts out as you oh, walk okay. out the door i think that's how you worded it <laughs> i think that's pretty funny yeah i right? thought that was funny. i was being obviously was so over the top that i was kidding is that did she respond <laughs> or no? ladies and gentlemen that is a goddamn good fucking text yeah but <laughs> thank is, you but it's thing like how long did it go on before but it that struck a chord apparently no no everything was perfectly she fine she hadn't that. talked to you the whole day that was my no question. she was at work all day she had a 12 hour shift listen to me the last text she said was good night right and yes. you reopened the conversation uh, like, with uh, that fucking amazing text right and so, yes I, or no, yes. or was there shit no, 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 in no, between? No, 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 nothing in between. That's it. You just said, right? That's Fuck, it. You won the game, so right? What did and she so say? she said, "That's not how I worded it at all." And oh. I really don't appreciate the judgmental tone, Mister. <laughs> there were there were always many reasons behind it, like being mistreated or cheated on, not just for the heck of it. I go and I said, "Uh, you know, I was just kidding around, right?" And I put the little Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> you know, like a lot. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And then I apologized. I said, "I'm sorry. I thought it was so ridiculous and over top that you know I was just kidding." And, and I said, "I apologize." Don't break up with me. No, I just said I apologize if I hurt your feelings. And she said, "Thank you." And and I just it was just weird to have that text as my first text from you after a long day. And I was like, yeah. "Okay, I get that." She had a twelve-hour shift. She wasn't in a good no. mood. No, is it no. mean of me to like not even want a girl that's not going to laugh at something? Red like flag, that? fuck I, that. Right there, there. I, I'm not yeah. disagreeing with you. No, red and, flag. And I was kind of like, mm. in fact, that should have been the best thing she read after she <laughs> got off work that day. <laughs> she should have gotten off work and been like, "Holy shit, that's fucking hilarious!" I thought it was funny. No, and and then she could have followed up with, "You know what is hilarious about that?" No, I actually didn't rip the hearts out of anybody. They all fucked their secretaries. Right. And I their, assume that. And their bass players. Like, I assume and wherever. that. That's why it was so ridiculous. I assume that that player? was the case. Did you just, like, project a little bit? <laughs> I think the first red flag was he's, the, he's, when he's, she got off the, the, the night before. He started talking, <laughs> and I, I had to bail out. Yeah. I had a good mm-hmm. list. It would have been a hilarious right. rant, but I, I you and Eric are real it. close. Sorry. No, you stop it. Okay. You stop you st- it. Don't, now, don't uh... Well, I'm sorry that I, dude, I felt like that would have been a good... How, she's... Uh, 
she, she's wait. I mean, she's like you. You saw the pictures. Now it's stupid. Hold on, but but pretty isn't everything. Agreed. Pretty on the totally outside agreed. isn't everything. I completely. You know what agree. I mean? Like I'm it, not even looking for pretty. It just sort of fell in right, my lap. Yeah, mm, that's not true. <laughs> it's yeah. uh, no. Just because I rate girls on an 11 point scale doesn't well, mean that si- I'm like you're looking for that. You're not sending me their biographies life. whenever you're asking my opinion. You're Hold sending on. me their photos. Well, that's all I got. <laughs> I don't know. I can't find their their Hold personalities but from the pictures. You're doing that though. on a show. Where it, it doesn't matter yeah, if you're serious or not. Right. Uh, the deal is, is that that was a goddamn good joke. Thank you. And I actually want to punch that girl in the fucking face <laughs> for not thinking that's funny. Now, I'm not sure if that's part of the Me Too movement, but I want to elbow her right in the chin oh, as no. hard as I can. No, I do. Because that was a good goddamn joke. Thanks. It's going to be awkward when they actually like make things work and you're just not going to like her now. Guess what? You know what? You fucking blew it. You blew it. (laughs) You shouldn't have told me. That's the thing. You want to judge another one of my texts? Yes, Yes. I do. I do too. Yeah. All right. Different girl. It's a two and a half. You know, I think it it. fits in with the movie Gone Girl. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. All these girls are gone, by the way. Every one of them. (laughs) By the way, uh, that was Rich's ex-wife that just said that. (laughs) Which (laughs) one? The first one. (laughs) All right. So uh, I was talking to a girl, and she was talking about, yeah. Um. You know, I have two young children it's hard for me to date uh, but as long as it's close to my house blah 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 then we i can step out for a few hours because my daughter is like 12 and as long as i'm close by it's fine so um we talked about meeting closer in 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 her area in plano area and so um i i responded and said how about these she didn't respond and so like five days later <laughs> i go and this was kind of referring back to some older text but i said have you weeded out all the chumps on your Tinder list yet and ready for a date with the real deal. And then I said, in, in parenthetically, uh, I was insinuating that the real deal in the above sentence was me in case that wasn't immediately apparent. <laughs> oh, God. And then I said, I'm not even sure why I use the term real deal because I don't even talk like that. And then the next one I said, if you're not laughing at this point, then I give up. And she didn't respond. And she- <laughs> <laughs> so I do have to say this. I do have to say this. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. Do I think that's funny? Yes. Okay, great. Am I surprised she didn't respond? No. no. I'm not either. <laughs> but I don't care. It made yeah. me laugh. Yeah, no, agreed. I think the shit is fucking hilarious. Like, in fact, like I should. Yeah, I, we threw them. We should we have a thing so on our um on our page where it's just like Rich's responses on <laughs> Tinder. Man, I still but, always wanted to do the thing where we like all get his Tinder account. And we each pick a girl, and he has to go on dates with each of them. I'm and totally you come fine back with that. And you come back with That's feedback. They don't have to come on the show. Yeah, yeah. I'm totally fine with that. Can I go first? I- <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What, picking or yeah, dating? Yeah, picking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I, man, I don't know. I, To me, the one that's out of your league, if she didn't she's get... She's really, really, really out of my league. If she did though. not get that joke... It, she's, that, so, she's a very, very, very nice person. Stop making Boring. excuses. No, no, no. I'm just saying stop she's it. so nice. I think she it's it's it the the sarcastic mm-hmm. humor mm-hmm. is a, a little bit offensive because yeah, she's right. so nice. That was, or she's a serial killer and she was offended because she literally rips. Also, stop heart out. making excuses for everybody. <laughs> Fuck her. She doesn't need that. Uh, well, she doesn't I mean, need her like. But if that you was start a, dating her, like we're super happy for you. That was a fucking holy. Yeah, and I can't. <laughs> Please invite her to a swimming party ASAP. Yeah, we don't have a that's pool. That's what I said. We'll figure one out. I'll dig a hole for Christ's sake. Fuck it. Sounds Let's good. Go. What do her feet look like? Let's get her over here. I don't yeah. care. They're great. Now, here's the thing. I, um, well, I- I'm just, A, I'm glad you're back out there. I'm glad your ex-wife is here. I don't know if it's really out there. Which one? The first one. I know. You're not like, you're not really going for it yet. No. Back in the day, man, you used to just. Mm-hmm. You should hang out with Christian because he has... That's weird. It's not even flavor of the week. It's flavor of the day. Like well, every, let's talk about this for a second. That's a generational now, thing. That, now, that's Shannon that's piping in over there. And that uh, that's Christian's mom. Now And that and you're talking about his son, Christian. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, you guys were estranged. Or if you ask my mom, Kristen. 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 Right. Oh. <laughs> now, Christian and you talk. And Christian's good. Yeah, right? yeah. And everything's yeah, yeah. great. Right? And so... But he's back living with you now, Shannon. Yes. yes. And Much what you're saying, sh- you're, you're saying that he like because apparently it, your house is like the goddamn Ramada. <laughs> like you can fucking check in, check out, check in, check out. 
You know, well, so this Christian yeah. has already lived with Rich. Mm-hmm. You guys were like best buddies. Yeah, we were good, right? And, but he is there, and he's he's there right now. Are you saying that he's just tearing it up right now, just fucking killing it? He had does a he bring him home. He had a girlfriend. Well, wait, does he have his own room? He has his own suite. Oh yeah, does yes. he bring him over? That sucks. Thank God. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. The girl. Well, well, he has the mother. Wait a minute. How many right? people? How One many people them? live at your house? All of them. Just, just me and my three kids. And her seven dogs. <laughs> oh, six, six dogs and a cat. You, your three kids. Yeah. But other people stay there too, right? No, Christian had a girlfriend. Okay. Who moved in with yeah. him, and they paid me rent for mm-hmm. about two months, and then they broke up, and. So then he's just been on like a tirade of just killing it. He's, Christian, he's a good looking dude. Plus he's big. He looks like he could kick your ass, by the way. Oh, he's huge. He's way taller yeah, than me. Yeah. You think he'd kick your ass? And I'm not short. He's like six one six. But he two. doesn't have your calves. No, he doesn't. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> no he's, no one does. You still love his calves, don't you? They're Popeye calves. Oh, you still don't love his calves, do you? <laughs> now, um, I'm just jealous because I don't have cats. So everything now. How old is your youngest again? Fifteen. Fifteen, and then the middle one that we're talking about is I can't remember her name. Zoe. Zoe. No, no, it's like Lil Zoe. Oh, young baby Zoe. Young baby Z. Oh, Zoe. I don't know. Young baby. Young baby That's her Z. alter ego. Right now, now in her alter ego, she smokes cigars and punches. Those people. aren't cigars. Oh, what are those? I'm. Pretty sure those are supposed to be blunts. I've seen the photos. They look like cigars. Yeah. They're now, cigar shaped. She's just drinking like a super like well aged bourbon. Young, like. <laughs> young baby Zoe now is doing what? Like working on her rap career? I don't know. You'll have to ask her. Oh, what is she doing these days? Yeah, so Zoe and her boyfriend and his brother I think that they are about to get signed. And by by Cole RCA? Beasley's uh, oh, oh okay, label. the Cole Beasley thing. That's that's good. That was the thing you were supposed to s- spend the five thousand dollars on. That's the reason you lost your daughter. Could be. And they're going to get it anyway. They fucking did it. They did it without it. Fuck a day. Jesus Christ. Are you doing, Jarrett? Making shit weird? No, no, I'm not. No, I. <laughs> we've already talked about all this though. This is all all in the air, right? Yeah, that's true. They had the thing. Cole Beasley's label right. saw them. Uh, or or somebody saw them. Cole Beasley's label. I mean, Cole Beasley's a football player. Yeah, he's a rapper also in the off season. Cole Beasley in the off season is a rapper. Well, I think he does it what, all like the time. What like gifts at Christmas? <laughs> I don't know. Is he I a country guy? I don't. Isn't he white? Well, he's from Little Elm. Yeah, but you know, he's, yeah. he's like the. He's. Have you heard his stuff? He's actually a good rapper. Uh, well, Christian's a good rapper. Yeah, he is. Chrissy Chris with dollar signs for the S. No, it's Chrissy Christoph. Chrissy Christoph. Yeah, what, whatever. There's too many S's, guys. Too many S's. Hey, Eminem is white and is a good rapper. I'm just oh, no, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of good white rappers. That, there's an that exception wasn't to every rule. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that wasn't a thing. Why you got to bring race into this, yeah, Shannon? That was okay. weird. All right. <laughs> what are you, from Frisco? Um, now it is uh, great to be here tonight, guys. Tonight we're going to talk about the movie Gone Girl. I again, I was completely shocked by how much I loved and wanted to watch this movie. We actually had to take a break after like thirty. No, I think it was like forty-five minutes, so that Casey could go get Everett from school and I could do some work. And um, I was ready to get back into it. I really enjoyed it. So we should dive in. But before we do that, I do need to say this. The uh, podcast you're listening to right now is 100% crowdfunded. That means that if you go to our Patreon page, you can give us a dollar a month. You can give us a dollar a day if you'd like. We don't care. But a dollar a month gets you the outtakes from this week. $5 a month gets you the outtakes forever. It's like 75,000 hours. Of us making fun of Rich. <laughs> Pretty close. Wait till the new election. You're going to want to get that. <laughs> I know. It's just a bunch of crying from you guys. <laughs> uh, $10 gets you into our monthly 
Skype Hangout, $20 gets you a an executive producer position, and then I read your name. I do need to let you know that this is a Matt Cardosi and Daniel Cotton production. Executive producers do include Winnie Croft, Ashley C., David Murray, David Dooley, Matt Cardosi, Radon James, Nigel Watson, Chris Black Magic, Whitehead, Daniel Cotton, Lucy Murray, who you will hear from later on in the program, Jared Spear, Diane Small, John Gickler, Lisa Wenzel, Katie Morgan, who you will also hear from later on in the program, Shawnee Griffiths, Greg Pascal, Mark Ryan, Tyler McCullough, Svee Hurst, or Jason Randall, Mike Breton, Chris Jacobs, Brian Dunning, Paul Balms, Amy Pitzinger, Jason Wall, Bodie Cooper, Woody Chambers, Kersey Fisher, Dominic Petretta, Simone Vark, who did not quit, quit the, the podcast. podcast, Tess Green, Michael Price, Jenna Hale. You got it. You did Thank it. Thank you. I did. Good job. And Brian Mason. Thank you guys so very much. If you want to be involved in this shit, go to Patreon. Search our podcast. Why not support us? We're the best podcast in the world. You're the rest of the podcast you listen to. Fucking suck. <laughs> um, this is a podcast about the movie Gone Girl 2014. I had no idea this movie even ever happened. And here's what happened. With his wife's disappearance having become the focus of an intense media <clears throat> circus, a man sees the spotlight turned on him when it's suspected that he may not be innocent. Um, okay. <laughs> Fine. I just feel like there's a lot more to this than mm-hmm. that. I feel like it should... Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just let you do it. Yep. Over to Rich for his alternative synopsis. The highly anticipated sequel to Gone Baby Gone, Gone Girl. A cheating piece of shit gets framed for being a murdering piece of shit (laughs) by a crazy piece of shit who actually is a murdering piece of shit who's been staying at a rich stalkery piece of shit's house and all those pieces of shit come together to make an actually not piece of shit movie. I actually stole that from Woody Chambers. Thanks, Woody. (laughs) Nice. Do you think that as she got to be more crazy, she got more sexy? Uh, we'll talk about that. Okay, yes. because because here's what, now, right, Mike. Did you watch this? That, I mean, I can't speak for every guy. No, no, no. But, but did you watch the movie oh, yeah. this week? Okay, oh, yeah. this is very important. Sarah, you watched the movie. Oh yeah. This week, and then uh, Sh- Shannon, did you watch the movie? Yes. Okay, so it's very important that we all watch the movie. <clears throat> she, I thought she was sexy at the at the first, but. You sort of realize in this movie, like, why we like to be told what to do and shit. Like, (laughs) the more she just became controlling and like, oh, no, this is the way things are going to (laughs) be. We're just going to go over here. Oh, no. Oh, you want to act like you're going to? That's fine. I'll see you over here in just a second. (laughs) Where you'll do exactly what I think you're going to do. Right. I'm completely roped in. I was just like. Jesus Christ, I hope Casey goes to sleep because I'm going in the TV. I'm going to go with that girl right there. <laughs> There's nothing I can do, but truth is I fell asleep, you know, and then, and I woke up. Casey was gone. I had to go in there and get her. Gone, girl. Our daughter, Carol Ann's in the, in the TV. All right, now, um, Ben Affleck is in this. What do you think, Rich, about, I think we've talked about this, but Ben Affleck as an actor, how do you feel? That's part. That's one of my talking points in here. Is is how much better of a movie could this be if he had just not been in it? You know, I don't think he was bad in it. No, I, he's not a bad actor. He's just not a good actor. I think they needed him though because he is a presence. He's a he's a weighty actor. Well, he he's a really good looking dude. Yeah. He, uh, no, he is. He mm. and, not with and, the shirt off though, right? Can we all agree on that? Guys, listen to me very what? carefully. He's not he, ugly, but uh, he's not Listen to me. Average. Like look, yeah. you like <laughs> given the choice between Ben Affleck He's and above average. Literally everybody else in the suburbs that we live in, you're right. going Ben Affleck. Yeah, yeah. That, that guy's he's a good looking dude and he carries himself well. He's a good he's a good size guy, whatever. Um but I do have to say, I agree. Like, I thought that there was a bunch of this that could have been way better. Who could have replaced him in this movie and made it better? Brad Pitt. 
<laughs> well, we are, Jared and I definitely agree with that. Uh, I disagree on Brad Pitt. I think Brad Pitt comes in. He's too much of a. He's too Brad. He's too good looking. He's too Brad Pitty. Yeah. Um, who could have come in? And I like a spazzed out Tom Cruise taking over. Well, you know his I don't teeth think are Tom lopsided. Is, yes, they're not the centered. Thing. No, they're not. Well, they're centered um, on one he. tooth. <laughs> What about Bradley Cooper? I was literally going to say Bradley Cooper, but Mm. Bradley Cooper's way better looking than everybody. It doesn't matter about how he looks. I'm thinking he he would have killed killed on this. Leonardo DiCaprio? Uh, No. I think Leonardo's too much. I think he's too much. I think you're onto something with Bradley Cooper. Maybe Christian Bale? However, nobody would have been as much like the actual dude that they said this was quote unquote about. And he did look like him. Yeah, this is like loosely based. He did look like him. Didn't he? It was yeah, crazy. He looked like Scott Peterson. I do. What about Mark agree. Wahlberg? So much so that oh, I wanted yeah. to like uh, question the whole Scott Peterson thing. I was gr- like, hmm. I do. I actually have to agree <laughs> with innocent. you, Sarah. She I did that, that too, and I'm like, no, he fucking. I right. did that same <laughs> thing. I actually watched this as if I were watching a documentary on Scott Peterson. Exactly. And there was a time where I'm like, holy shit, maybe Scott Peterson fucking do it. You know, whatever. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> but um, then you see his wife, and she's just so sweet. There's no way. So I don't know. Yeah, you know. Chat room says Ryan Gosling. I was mm. thinking that, but why, I don't know. Why? Are you, why is everybody going for the fucking? Why is everybody going? Because he's photoshopped uh, abs. Yeah, but I mean, like, why not just like a regular dude? Why Jake Gyllenhaal? He... Yes, Jake Gyllenhaal. Too short. Too short. Are, he's yeah. no. Sh- are you fucking kidding Everybody's me? He's short. He's no shorter than Leonardo. No, I wouldn't say Leonardo. I'd say Christian Bale or or um, Bale. He Bradley Cooper's not short. How about nah. Paul Rudd? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Paul nah. Rudd! Only it would be hilarious. I know. <laughs> only if Vince Vaughn was actually in the movie, like yeah, Will Ferrell. Exactly. Oh my god, I would totally do Vince Vaughn. Yeah. No. No, this was unrelated. Wait, I was just saying did, I would do. Him. Did you get a sound bite of that? I know you would. No. Oh, we. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yes, we did. God, God damn it. Um, Thanks, Shannon. <laughs> No, I think I think all of those are good. I, I just know. want Vince Vaughn semen in my. And butt. I just have to say <laughs> Matthew McConaughey because he's awesome. I just oh. can't. With, I just don't think. I don't know. I know. He I don't think the voice could be like. Oh, all right, all right, all right. But yeah. I don't know where she went. But I, I say like if you're going to get Ben Affleck, you have to weigh the options like Ben Affleck or Matt Damon. Like this one would have been better with Matt Damon. Except Matt he's too but short. But they would. It would have hurt their friendship. How tall is Matt Damon? Oh, he's gosh. short. Guys, reliant. <laughs> Energy source. There it is. He's five ten. Hey. Yeah, hey. short. That's what I said. It's like, God. how tall are you? Welcome I'm to six Texas. foot. Welcome to Texas. No, you're He's not. I am barefoot. Take. I don't believe that what for, for one. dinner. <laughs> I you measured get... against your your other son, which is super tall, and he was five yeah. eleven. Well, I you was give off short vibes. How does that your feel? Your other son. Yeah, it's because I'm fat. Thanks. You know. What? uh you I get... think the only one mentioned that I would think would be more believable in all this would be Bradley Cooper. But that's not fair because I think that dude could literally do anything. Anything. Literally. Anyone. Yeah. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's 5'11". Uh, like, that's not Yeah, fair. I actually yeah. think Jake Gyllenhaal would have been great in this. Um, if you were this, yeah, I agree. Ryan Gosling is a really good actor. I just actor. feel like all these he, are like yeah. kind of skinnier dudes. Ryan I feel like he needed the should have been bods. bulky a little bit. Good point. Yeah, that's Bradley a great Cooper's point. One. Yeah, so, okay. That's what I said, Vince Vaughn. Look, no, no, no. Not Vince, Vaughn. Vince Vaughn's like 6'9", like, for but Christ's sake. Oh, that's a good point. He is a million Yeah, people. Jesus Christ. A million feet tall. <laughs> no, I... Yeah, so like a bigger dude. You know who everybody want, who should have played this? That guy from... Uh, I know who you're talking about. The no. guy from Guardians of the Galaxy? No. no, no, no. Oh, that guy for sure would have been fucking great. But uh, the guy from Stranger Things that everybody loves. Ooh. The sheriff. Oh, the sheriff. Ooh, Put yeah. that guy in this role. Who's that? Normal uh, dude, dad bod. He's like a he plays it, the sheriff, and every oh, chick loves him. I agree. I do too. Yeah. The the movie would have tanked because it wouldn't have star power. Is that? <laughs> no, I'm serious. That's Anna Faris's husband. That it wouldn't have no, tanked because it wouldn't have oh. tanked. This movie wouldn't have tanked at all because the book was so fucking huge. If Rosamund it movie, it Pike yes. plays the girl. How do we pronounce that? Rosamund. Is it not Rosamund? I don't yeah, know. It is, is it is it Rosamund or just, is it Rosamund? I just put Rosamund. Yeah, I know. Just say it really fast. No one on the Rosamond. All right. Uh, she's younger than me. She looks like five years older than me. Jesus she's Christ. She's 39. Yeah. Well, That's she looks like said. a great five years older than you, she's though. Also, she's also from <laughs> London. She's only 5'9". Yeah, she's got Too fucking short. Too short. 
right? This is 39. Now, here's the thing. I have seen London. I have seen France. I've seen somebody's <laughs> underpants. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I thought she looked really good here. Do you know who was originally supposed to play the role of Amy? Well, no, I do I not, like but know. I'm glad you did your homework, Shannon. Reese Witherspoon. Uh, Which one? No, I don't think I would have been into it. I, I love This her. girl killed it. I mean, like, she, yeah, literally, literally and figuratively. <laughs> I, I love Reese Witherspoon, but, but I have Reese to agree. Witherspoon wound up helping to, like, not fund the project, but she helped with the screenplay like and, and yes, and and has bought the rights to the other stories that Gillian Flynn have has to one hundred percent agree. I think she could have played this role, but I do think that had <laughs> once she got into the crazy part. Mm -hmm. It would have seemed a little bit like because she's America's sweetheart. We she, can't see her doing that. And she's just yeah, so she popular. She could have played like, like the sheriff. Wasn't. She's the prom queen, right? She's in high school, sweet. never ends by the greatest band that's Everyone ever lived. Everyone loves Reese Witherspoon. No one is I, gonna no agreed. Yeah, actually, anybody who doesn't love Reese Witherspoon is a fucking asshole. Asshole. <laughs> agreed. Yeah, and she can be kind of crazy though. In some you of shush. She's, she's in a be a very serious. She's in a nude. TV show where she's pretty crazy. What was P.S.? I couldn't watch oh, it. Oh, oh P.S. I, I, I couldn't watch it. Her ex-husband? Who was that? R Ryan, Ryan Philippe. 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 Would have been great in this he, goddamn yes, movie. Yes, yes, yes. He would have been great. He's so good. Do you know one of my favorite movies of all time? Like one of those like sick day movies that's Hold always on, let, fucking me, on. let me guess. Let me guess. Um, <laughs> Tarzan. Nope, that's uh, <laughs> your on, children. Hold on, hold on. Um, okay, uh... Shit, um, you know I'm gonna forget what I'm gonna say. Fuck. Uh, oh. Drive Miss Daisy. Drive Miss Daisy. Never seen that. I don't, I'm not okay. fifty. Okay, go ahead. I have my glasses. I am. Yeah, the one with him and um, the Sweet Home Alabama one, right? Oh, yeah. But, oh, that but guy. She's the worst fucking. Like she, her acting there is the worst of all time. But I like love that movie. That so movie's much. great. I love I it too. But she's like, her, and she's like from the south, right? And she's yeah. like, well, why don't you ever kiss me? And I'm like, why are you talking like that? Like, why are you doing Casey, that? Casey, weird. Swap out Ben Affleck with Jason Sudeikis. Yeah, I'm into that. <laughs> I she knew loves it. Jason. <laughs> I, know, me too. I do. It doesn't make any sense. Jason should take a swap out. Whatever. Yeah, I get do it. it. He's great. Anytime. Neil Patrick Harris is in this. Uh, he plays the. Was that uh, really his penis? Yeah, I think so. I feel weird that I saw that. Yeah, was because it a good he's gay? One? What okay. do you mean? Wait a minute. No, no because just because Neil Patrick she loves Harris him and he's like he's, he's, yeah. he's happy. He's and, Doogie Howser. Yeah, it's just weird. Yeah, we oh, you saw Doogie's penis. Yeah, we should have been seeing that. Uh, what a great actor! Maybe like seeing Ellen DeGeneres' vagina. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Whoa! Like I just think that he's like. This is it common. weird? So it is because is it weird that this, I've this seen? This seems that. like it turned into a gay thing. What's going on? It's Casey? not a gay thing. Up, it's, no. you're, you're no, they're, they're a lot of gay people. Always on each other's shows and stuff, and so I'm like, it's like that type of comedy that I think of him. Like I don't see him like serious like sex penis acting. He mm. did great in this movie. He <laughs> played the exact character. I'm going to be honest about it. I think all the casting was perfect except I for Ben Affleck. I am going to tell you this right now. And I I know when to admit defeat and I am 100% always the person that admits when I'm wrong. Oh, that's not um, true. <laughs> stop doing that. Why are you doing? Are you I was just putting things? ice in my glass. Okay, well then stop doing that. I don't want you to do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> Tyler Perry in this movie what? is fucking amazing. Oh, Perfect. I love him. Perfect. Yes. He's so good. Why is he doing Medea movies when he should be when doing do stuff that? like this? Because, because Medea makes the money. Dollars. My mom has not missed a Medea movie in, it's, that's ever no, happened. It's not that Medea makes any money. It's that he gets 100% of Medea money. He right yeah, he's crushed Medea. this. Like, no, because, I, no, no, no. He owns could, all the Atlanta studios. He built, he created Atlanta movies. It's all him over there. What is Atlanta without the T? So, what the fuck is that? What do you mean? <laughs> I, well, people that are from Atlanta say Atlanta. No, we actually don't. say, no, yeah. We say Hot Atlanta, but whatever. Are you serious? You're we, not even especially from there. when we, they was born of, in Atlanta, I Georgia. Loved it. Okay, that and then, mean that you're when did you move from there? Uh, when I was about two, two months old. Jesus Christ. Right, exactly. So that's <laughs> like hey, I talk. We that's like my Atlanta. my. She friend, and I lived there for a year. Hold on, that's like my yeah, friend Casey, who uh, lived in Chicago till he was in eighth grade, and now complains about Texas drivers, <laughs> and he's forty-seven years fucking old. <laughs> 
I'm like, you've lived here since you were in eighth grade. You've, you've and I lived there for here. a year. Only driven here. You don't. <laughs> in fact, they don't even drive in Chicago. You right. fucking asshole. You take trains. <laughs> you take trains. And they're the shape of an L, which is <laughs> stupid. Right. Oh Jesus Christ! No. We're gonna be here forever. No, we're not. No, we're doing good on time. Actually, it's we're not that fine. late. Um, Carrie We've Coon only gotten through this. is in this. Kim First Dickens season. is in this. I actually think, uh, from an acting perspective, uh, Kim Dickens is the best in the movie. She killed it. Yeah. She I love played her. Detective Rhonda Boney. She <laughs> is. Is it Boney? Yeah. <laughs> What are we in fucking I, eighth I grade? Did, I, yes, I, yes, I have just you been on the podcast. Right I teach seventh grade. So. <laughs> Tell him, Dooley. But say you gotta wait for the snort. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I, she's the best. The she, her, she's she so good. She is so good. I don't even know who that is. And and I and I haven't looked it up. I think that a casting director would have been crazy to cast her in this role, but it was perfect. She. Nailed it. Nailed it. She's so good. She's so... Every scene that she seems like she's interrogating, she's what not. Are the, I, I put the list of the movies and stuff she was in. Oh, she's in Fear, oh, okay. Fear so the she Walking was in, Dead. Okay. Fear the Lost. Walking Dead. She was in Lost. She was in uh, Sons of Anarchy, right? Deadwood. What's, what's Lost? Deadwood. Yeah, God damn it. Well, she in Sons of Anarchy. She's the prostitute uh, madam. The, the main prostitute madam. In Sons of Vanguard, that had the thing with uh, Jax for a little if bit. If I ever end up being a prostitute, I want to be the main prostitute. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want to yeah. be the bottom bitch. Yeah. I don't, that doesn't sound uh, like the main one. No, they She's did not, this on South Park. So if you want to be on the top? No, no. So in, they did this on South Park. So if you if you have a pimp. I want to be Dolly Parton. <laughs> you want to be his bottom. Is that a uh, little whorehouse in Texas or whatever? Yep, where? Yeah. yeah. So, like uh, the retired hooker that just like you want to be the bottom the hookers bitch. around. Yeah. Well. I'm going to be honest. I don't want to be the bottom bitch. That sounds terrible. Mm -hmm. That sounds like I fucking committed a felony. Yeah, you don't like to be on the cold kitchen floor. You like to be on your knees. Yikes. And I don't even <laughs> like that now because my fucking knees hurt. Yeah, true. You know what I mean? So I like moved to the rug. Right. Casey will tell you. All I right. So like, I don't feel like I was on the rug, so I'm a little concerned here. Jesus Christ! Wait a minute. Hold on. I gotta. Eat. Well, he was in L.A. for a little bit, so you need to. Oh, he was. He was sleeping on a blow up mattress. There was a rug. That's blow -up. how you yeah, got that's... pink eye. Fuck. It wasn't that's a blow up true. mattress, guys. I slept on this blow up mattress. I'm not joking. Like I, uh, so uh, we stayed at Linus. I thought house. you were big time. What's going on? Yeah, but it's one of those things where so <laughs> Kelly slept on the couch and I slept in this blow up mattress and like by. <laughs> Literally by like 2 a.m., it was like I was sleeping in a hammock. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know, like yeah. I'm just like in the middle of the thing. And like rolling over like took oh. so much effort. Like you would like start to move your body, but the mattress would move with you. And you, it'd just be like, but I've been working on this for about five seconds. I'm in the exact same position <laughs> that I started in. You know what I mean? And I didn't want to complain. And like, I couldn't turn the thing on to blow it up more or whatever. <laughs> and I just, I mean, I literally, I just like, well, maybe I should just like roll off the thing. No, and just, just sleep on it. the floor. Like take all air out. Yeah. Right. And then yeah, just, sleep, just on sleep on it as floor. a mat or whatever. But the floor is wood and they got a dog, uh, and dogs and a cat and shit. Uh, and, uh, but I made it work. Um, they have hotels in LA, right? I I know, but it, he's they were waking up early and just go in and yeah, exactly. He's, sleepover party. He's my best friend. She's like my best friend. That's a girl. That's not my wife. And like, so I was just like, all right, well, we're all gonna stay together. And he's like in there. And I I gave her the couch because I'm a goddamn gentleman. And then here I am sleeping in this thing that starts out like, oh man, no, this is nice or whatever. And then by the middle, of the night, I wake up and I'm like, I literally can't move. By the and way, I would try to get up. And I would like push my hand onto the mattress to like support my weight or whatever, and it would just go right to the ground. And I just be like, "There's nothing I could do." By the way, if Kelly was on the blow up mattress, it'd be like a cloud for her. That's I'm like, I know. I'm literally sitting I here like thinking. I like the fat joke. Yeah. I'm literally sitting here thinking, like, if I was in a situation and someone's well, like, "You sleep joke, on the couch, okay. I'm going to sleep on the blow up mattress," I would think you weren't being a gentleman. Like, yeah. I'd much rather be on the blow up mattress nah, than on the couch. I don't know. The whole the whole bit about you trying to get off, I feel like. Well, I don't know. 
Oh boy, yeah. where did we go <laughs> with that? Rewrite, rewrite that. Okay, I all I can think about is how noisy that <laughs> must have been. You probably woke the bitch no, up. No, 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 no. I didn't. So you I did held my pee. I held my pee all night. I didn't get up. I didn't want to wake anybody up. I didn't want to creak like, across the floor. All of these people have lived with you on a tour bus. Like just. Get I up know, and pee. but I'm. Su- you know me. I'm too. Just nice. Just pee on the mattress. It's fine. <laughs> I am too nice. Excuse me, miss. Yeah, I just want you to be careful where you put down that uh, monk brewed Belgian wheat beer. So the party's down to like three beast lights and a bottle of bunker. It might attract some desperate characters. Oh, good. I mean, the Amish run a room spread. They already relieved me of my artisanal meat platter. Finally. Someone tells me how to pronounce that word. Meat? Yes, meat. One syllable. <laughs> Thank you. Whose beer am I about to drink? Don't tell me. Let's see, here's your type. I don't see you sitting quietly while he bloviates on his post-grad thesis about Proust. Uh-oh. Is that him? Ironic hipster, so self-aware, it makes everything a joke. I prefer men who are funny, not funny. What type are you? Corn-fed, salt-of-the-earth Missouri guy. Missouri? Mm-hmm. Cute. Mm, native New Yorker. World ends at the Hudson. What's your name? Amy. He got out-acted so bad in this scene, it made him look like someone who didn't even belong there yeah it's crazy she's so good she he the lines are great and she's doing an american accent and she doesn't even the have an american dialogue accent. was fantastic everything was great he got out acted she seemed real he didn't she was nominated for a bunch of stuff he, it he didn't seem like that it he, just reminded me a lot of me and you in the beginning except for, <laughs> except for i was like did you know Marky Mark has three nipples? <laughs> and you were like, no, uh. And I was like, yeah, let me show you on my phone. To be <laughs> honest, <laughs> Molly Crew. To be honest, I thought the same thing. But the thing is, is that we still talk like that to one another. About Marky Mark. That does come up every once in a while. Oh, so you were, you were, you, the, the comparison fell apart because they weren't happy still. And you are. Is yeah, we're still point? hilarious all yeah. the time. I mean, dude, we I get fucking it. laugh. Like, we go, I've already said this on this podcast. We like are done with the night. We go to bed. Somebody says something funny, and it's another hour and a half of just <laughs> fucking said, laughing. Sleepover, sleepover party. <laughs> and the goddamn lights are still on, and we're right. just in there cracking up, laughing, and yeah, that's what we do. Did we ever do that? What? I don't know. Yeah, wait, don't know. Um, did you have a t- did you have a TV in your room? It's so long ago. It's hard to remember. Yeah. Did you wait? Did you did you guys laugh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah yeah. You guys thought each other were funny. Yeah, I don't know that he thought I was funny, but I thought he was funny. No, no, she. We had a we we had a great time. Why'd you get all pitchy there? You did. You did a little bit. Yeah. Did you not? You didn't. No, I didn't know what you're talking about. You're so funny. You didn't. High voice lie. Everybody knows about it. Now we people have heard about your relationship on this program before, Wait, and obviously, what? what? Well, you didn't know we were recording that. I didn't either. Yeah. I was hammered. And so, obviously, she felt like you threw yourself into work and. And this, this is that's what I said, right? She backed it up. Yeah, she said I, the same okay. thing. She right, thought yeah. the the exact same thing. Whatever. That, and let's cut it off there. Here you have a situation where the guy isn't working, right? And his wife has this trust fund, and he trusts that. Oh my god! Because it's a trust fund. Did you guys get that? <laughs> That was unfucking believable. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. <laughs> God damn it! That is hilarious. What is the new thing? What's the new thing that's happened? So you have a soundboard now. You've always had a soundboard. So I just go like this. Roadhouse. Roadhouse. <laughs> It just took him this long to come out of his shell. No, he's really shy. That is the fucking funniest thing. What's the other thing that you did earlier? Where? Uh, what's the other thing that you played earlier? The introduction. Oh, you got to dial it up. Yeah. yeah. God, that's not a soundboard, you dumb fuck. That's a whole different goddamn thing. Silent Sean, you are not Silent Sean. You're getting me off the beaten path, Sean. It's right his now. fault. Anywho, that's all him. You guys, different thing. Like to me, I I loved this relation. I loved how they met. I thought it was cool that she's this. Uh, it didn't make any sense. Uh, okay. She's the hottest chick in the room. I agree with that. You. Didn't make any sense. I agree. Then. No, I agree with you that it it 
the story doesn't add up to me because how do you have that kind of a relationship starting out and then have none of that at the end like you don't have no, any that of that a lot. let me ask no. you this no. like, okay let's let's Life all all kidding aside and i i literally and i'm not joking uh i unless i was being like doing something wrong i've never been in a situation where like i went into a party and i was picking up a girl have you been in that situation y yes <laughs> okay and what's that like it's Actually, I, I can be, like, as cool as that sometimes. I have to be at the right sort of Alcohol drinking level. level. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can be that right. suave. Mm -hmm. Normally, but I have to But you can also admit, be, like, too far or, like, not. No, no, no. Yeah, like normally, I am this suave the next day in the shower. And I'm like, why didn't <laughs> I just say that? Right. George That would have been amazing. Yeah. <laughs> now, so you, but you have been in situations, The jerk though, store called. And, and they're out of you. <laughs> yeah. So, but you have been in situations, though, where you get invited to a party there. You're single. There's single girls there. And you're, I mean, like, it's not online, right? It's, this is real. This is yeah. reality. It's happened two, two times I can remember. I was killing it. <laughs> and? Killing it. And stop it. Just everyone's <laughs> laughing. I'm in a circle. The girl I'm talking to is just dying laughing. Everyone's laughing at me. It, it, I'm just killing it. And? I mean, I didn't close the deal. Here's the deal. Yeah, either time. <laughs> Here's the either deal, though. Time. I have to throw this out there. Like, just because, like, if I did not know you, I'd be like, bullshit my head, right? Like, yeah, you're fucking <laughs> killing it at parties. But, like, <laughs> I've been to some weird fucking parties where we've been at, like, his house, and there's just, like, you, there's just like girls like doing a standoff like I'm not fucking leaving no, I'm not fucking leaving like just waiting to see which woman's gonna like all right so that's different that's true right like, hold on that is one so he has true, to have some but, game but he had already done listen they already knew the rich the the the, the time that we had, the time that the party happened and there were literally and this is a true story and they were all like. Real there young were, and cute. I believe five, but I'm, I'm going to say at it least. It was narrowed down to three. Man, this is, it's a, four, wives, it's a wives' tale now. Four girls. There was 19 women. Girls. Hold on, no, but there, no, there were. And there was Red Rose. I can, I can see four of them in my head that were just waiting for you to decide, like, which one was going upstairs. Right. Which one. That, oh, sorry. <laughs> which one. And uh, I think I know who won that night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, ten, or eleven. It's the Richter scale again. Rose Amund Pike. Here we go. Hair, eight. Is she wearing a wig in half this movie? Yes. Yes, so that threw was... me off. Yeah, it was pretty. Because yeah. she's... You want to know why? Because fucking blonde box dye does not cover up mousy brown box, box <laughs> dye. She would have had orange roots and muddy hair. It fucking makes me so mad. Got it. All right, so... There. I think her normal hair is beautiful. I probably got a, a gave it a ten, um, but anyway, eyes eleven, nose eleven, mouth eleven, overall face eleven. Like her face is amazing. It's a good face. It's a good face. Um, arms eleven, boobs seven point five. <laughs> On the natural scale, <laughs> a seven point five is an eleven. So just so you guys know, that makes sense. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. So what did she get? She needs to come back more often. <laughs> what did she get? Uh, seven point five on her boobs, which is what I'm saying is that. No, that... are we done yet? Or no, not yet. okay, god damn it! I waist did... eight. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Waist eight. Um, the only reason <laughs> she gets a, a an eight is just because it's sort of straight down. It doesn't like curve in, sure. so I have to leave some room for the curve in. Um, <laughs> but as far as like the front is like killing it. Uh, ass eight, legs ten overall. I think personally. She's an 11 overall, like, couldn't be any better looking to me. Um, that gives her a total of 9.8. She's got, like, a ballerina body. You know, she's long and got, you know, slender, I, lithe. I was all about her. Yeah. Like, every, like, I was totally, like, I obviously have to be scientific as far as the scale goes. <laughs> I can't cheat but that. But in my eyes, she's an 11. And what did she get? A 9.8. Man, it's the boobs that killed it. I feel like you need to add a couple of things. I'm serious. Like you need to add like feet, like ears. a penis. What are you talking about? <laughs> and uh, add a couple things. I mean, even when she was like letting herself go because she was finally getting to eat, she wasn't ugly. 
You know, well, she gained a little bit of weight. And I she, like that they pudged her up for five seconds. And yeah, the next literally. Day, the next day, like I'm, I'm like, well, well, what the fuck is that stalkery weirdo feeding her? Like, I want in. <laughs> I'll be locked in a weird camera house. Dress me up, bitch. Whatever you want. Like, yeah, because what are you Susie thinking? took her clothes off. There was like nothing there. No, even with the clothes on, I was just like, it's been one day. <laughs> That was 15 well, pounds. Of That's it, because she well, took a, he took away the tapioca pudding. Part of it was the money belt. Oh, it was the money belt. Was the money belt. Yeah. You're absolutely right. It was the money belt. That's why she looked chubby. Uh, no, she walked into the house like her little pudgy belly. She was eating Cheetos and shit, which also it only took her, what, three days to gain 15 pounds because she ate some fucking Cheetos. Right. Like, has she never been on vacation? I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. Casey's just mad. I'm Mike. mad at that one. <laughs> Mike, did, Mike, have you did you ever go to a party? Just a party again, a party and pick up a chick. Speaking ever, of crazy, ever there's in your, no way psycho that women. Is ever, you allowed to talk about this ever in your life? <laughs> Casey knows. Oh, actually, so well. Jesus Christ! Please do not answer that question. <laughs> I, I forgot, and I, I don't want. Will. I actually want no. you to have a place. Okay, that's I never not have. great. Fucking answer. I don't hit on girls. girls. Not true. <laughs> also, a great answer. I've, I've never. I've never I don't hit, hit on, on girls, a, a woman ever. ever. <laughs> <laughs> what is a girl? <laughs> Come on. In. Hey, Mr. Dunn. Hi. <laughs> Detective Rhonda Boney, this is Officer James Gilman. We understand there are concerns about your wife. I don't know where my wife is, and I came home to this. Now, I don't panic easily, but it's weird, right? Mind if we look around? Like her. How long have you two been here? Two years in September. I used to live in New York. City? Yeah, I was a writer. We we're both writers. Why'd y'all move back here? My mom got sick. I'm sorry. How is she? She's dead. Well, okay. you know, obviously, you, there's a few things you never ask about. You never ask about the sick mom. You never ask how somebody's fiance is doing. And you never ask about the baby. Right. But ever! Oh. Except if you're a cop. Those are oh, rules. Okay, yeah, it's a police officer. Is anyone else, like, I watch way too much ID Network, and mm -hmm. I'm, like, doing a checklist. I'm going, he's not talking about her nope. as if she's already gone. Exactly. He's. I'm going, he, even though he's a terrible actor, he's what? at least following all the right... Sarah, you're exactly right. He he speaks about her as if she's, she's still, still there. there. 100%. <laughs> he takes them on the tour of the house, which at first I thought, well, that would never happen, you know, yada, yada, but... Like, if he were acting, he would be sitting at the kitchen table just going, I just don't know what to do. You know, right. go ahead, go look around. Yeah, he's still confused. Yeah. I, all I kept thinking, though, was like, if you came home and the fucking coffee table was flipped over and broken and I was nowhere to be found and wasn't answering my phone, like, you wouldn't even be the least bit suspicious. Oh, no. I, <laughs> like, yeah. I'm going to be honest. I would walk up here and work. Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> hopefully she brings back some water burgers. Yeah, I don't know. What's I don't know. Like, we'll see her later. Yeah, well, I guess that happened. And in fact, if you if I knew you were busy that day, it wouldn't even be a text. I'd be like, oh, she even broke the broke the, the she broke the fucking broke coffee, the table, coffee table, and then she forgot day. to clean it up. Right? And she, yeah, she which is what a happens. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Uh, so I, you know, obviously, blood's in the kitchen. He seems surprised. We're all starting to see it. You know, at, at this well, point. When go they ahead. made the sorry no go ahead when they when she stomps her feet and makes the like um, Picture fall down. pictures fall down I, immediately I'm going God what a clever bitch she knew right no not so to that's make those come that much later, later in the movie but I will say this uh, again oh, yeah. I don't know that I can say enough about how great she played this she did really she well. was yeah do you love her a little bit no I don't it, honestly Is she I, I, really I do. No, she's way not. I didn't see her feet. I So I don't even find her attractive at all. Do you but, watch the porn where she does the feet on the penis thing? Oh. Who? You. Oh, God. That Is that girl? a thing? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you said no. where she does. He thought you meant she has one. No, 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 no. Where she does that. He's like she's about to Google. Like, like, my favorite like part was him acting it out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I, and also no. There's right. where the calves come from. Right. Is, that, is that a non-denial <laughs> denial? That's, that's no, 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 that's no, where no I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. That means that I have to just watch. No, I don't like that. But okay. I like I, that. I do think that I think she acted this so well, and I I just thought how she sidestep stuff like she sees that up on the uh, on the 
on the on the vent vent yeah. hood or whatever it's called. Right. And she just goes, okay. We're just just slaps. She just like puts a little post it note right yep, there. That's it. And just you keeps know? on walking. And just like I mean, like every other clue. All right. Okay. So two things. Yep. One thing is you said you made a point to say that you watched the ID channel. Right. Everyone knew that already, so you didn't have to say that because you're a female. <laughs> gotcha. All females watch the fucking ID channel. Yeah, but nobody pays attention to detail like me. I'm telling you now. I'm Maybe tell- Casey. I have a every say, girl. You've had some in-depth conversations. <laughs> every girl, she watches it. Because and when when my my second ex watches it. Jared the, watches everyone it. fucking and he's a female. Uh huh. Yeah. Exactly. So he's two. My, he's my best lady. Two. When you're oh, watching this for the first the time. Love you, honey bunches. Oh my god. Sorry, Sarah. All right. God damn it. Two. When, oh, good for you! When you're when you're watching this for the first time and you don't know if he did it or not, are you are you going? Is is he acting, or is he acting like he's acting? Like do you you know what I'm saying? Because he's not a great actor. So is he acting like he's surprised, or is he acting like he's acting like he's? Surprised? I love the way that they did this because I thought that it was it was incredible how you knew that he had something to hide. But Amen. also, you didn't really, never did I think that he was hiding the fact that he killed somebody. Yeah, you kept, I totally you kept going, agree. he's acting weird. Yeah, I, yes. but I did I think that him getting these calls yeah, and not taking them, I thought that was weird. Did I think... Going um, to that house late at night was yeah, weird. Yeah, obviously, yes. like him saying he didn't know what the little brown house was, mm-hmm. you know, that was weird. Um, so... All, let, let's get back the to book, let's the, get, the let's, story obviously on. balances his guilt and his innocence very okay, well. Let's it's like get back, back forth, to back where forth, we forth. are in the movie right now. Hold on. So here we are, and he's met her. They're together, and then they're at this huge party, and we see her say, yeah, I mean, I tried out for volleyball. I didn't make it. But Amazing Amy mm-hmm. was MVP. I wanted a dog. They wouldn't let me have one. But Amazing Amy got one, and she trained it, and it did this. And then, so essentially, they took her childhood and all of the stuff that she wanted, her parents, and they just made it better and wrote these books. They made her crazy. They yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And they were like child crazy. psychologists. I mean, right. they were writing yeah. these books to help huh. families <laughs> You know, with children with issues, and totally, they messed up their daughter. They totally, totally messed, but you could there. totally believe that this happened because they're, they're probably so egotistical. But she held it together for so long because in the book, mm-hmm. it's so artfully written. It begins each chapter is one is his perspective, one is her perspective, mm-hmm. one is his perspective, one is her perspective. You literally get halfway through the book, and you don't know what's going on. And I was, I was sitting, I remember exactly, sitting on the fireplace. I turned the page, and that's when it, it's revealed that she's started her life. And, you're, and I was like, oh, my God. And I could not put the book down. Can I, I, can I just, like, and, and I, I, I really don't mean to be facetious here. What the fuck is a book? <laughs> <laughs> Better than a movie is what a book is, if it's, if it's done How, right. Yeah. Does it take two hours to read it? It on takes tape. me about a year and a half. I yeah, read. I'm out. I read this book. Say, Sarah, I, fucking I, same. And by the way, <laughs> like I will read to like chapter six, and then I'm like, you skip I, I, it up on no, no, no. Then I stop, it. and then I'm just like, oh fuck, I fucking haven't read this. God damn it, I gotta start over. So then I'm back at like chapter four. You talked about that one book, the (laughs) one that like the like throw out shit that doesn't bring you joy thing book forever, and you never even like held that one in your hand. I didn't need it. Because I learned (laughs) the premise of it. And it's the greatest book of all time. Can I just Oh wait, can I just say this though? Can I say that I liked it? I liked the idea and the premise so much I did buy the book to support her. But you didn't That's fair. It. I never read it. Any no. of it? No, no. I read but the book premise in, was great. In about two days, and I'm not a fast reader. Which which book? How Gone long Girl. is it? Oh, I thought you were saying about the thing. It's that, thick. That, you read better. than I thought most. you were saying about the thing that if it doesn't bring you joy, you get rid of it, and that's how rich it ended up here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is true. He brought me joy for a while. <laughs> Rich. O- only in the bedroom. Yeah, yeah I knew that was coming. There he is, coming in. All right, so 
That's probably not true. Now they end up and um, amazing Amy, she's getting married, and there. But that's how. That's where they introduced us to amazing Amy. Right. He thought was, she was the writer of the books until he, the parents came up and was like, he was like, holy did. shit, that's messed up. Like, yeah. Of course I did. That, and I thought. They were just like, oh, my God, she's amazing Amy. And I thought, oh, my God, she fucking writes all these things. Nope. No. Um, yeah, how bad is it when you're already kind of thinking some of those things about yourself, but it's your parents that are going, hey, you could be so much greater. Here we go, world. Yeah, I mean, and also it's like, why not oh, parenting? <laughs> <laughs> no shit. No, and, 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 and seriously, like, I, I want to punch parents. I fucking hate them. All of them. <laughs> Hold on. I want to punch parents. Hold on. Which one? All of them. Steve Manley, PhD. But... <laughs> P.S. Sarah, that's my favorite of your bits. <laughs> Steve Manley, PhD. Uh, I'm going to tell people I made it up because that's what you do. With so do he ends up You're being full. a suspect. Of course, he's the husband. They swab him, whatever. He has to call her parents. Tell him, you know. But I thought... It was super weird though when he's just like, "You got to check the homeless around here," and yeah, you know, well, like in the book, that part of the plot is developed a lot more. It, it talks about um, early on, you know, he would be driving through the neighborhood and you would see the squatters coming out of houses. So it was it. I thought rewatching it last night, and I've seen the movie probably five or six times. And it times, did kind of touch on it with the whole mall closing going to down. the mall. Though it still and... seemed very like, let's just stick this yeah, in here. Yeah. But still, give me yeah. a break. But homeless in the book, people it's developed that. much better. That's not what. That's not they want to get high. They don't. Yeah, exactly. So all of that seems silly. Now they start to question him. It's like, what's your wife's blood type? But I loved this. I thought that was good. Again, she was so great. <laughs> yes. She's like, you know what? It, you, you don't know you your don't, wife's blood she, type. No, I she's like, he leaves. You don't, and then, you don't know. You don't should know. I know this, my life. Yeah, <laughs> should I know? more? She goes, no, no, but yeah. it's funny. Cause even during the conversation before that, that even happened, like, you know, asked them, I was like, I don't know your blood type. Do you know mine? I'm like, I don't even think I know mine. Do you know yours? He's like, <laughs> I, don't I don't know think mine. I do. And, he, and then like, then it goes to the scene where it goes, should I know my wife's blood I type? Think, and she goes, no. And I'm like, oh, yeah. okay. I think I, I it's either A or B, I think, maybe. Mine's like whatever is the universal one. So mine That's is o. super cool. rare. I think I'm O negative, And uh, that's like that's what? a band. No, it's what began like this whole thing with my biological father or whatever. You should donate your blood then. What's wrong with you? That's what they say, but I don't know. Oh, did you figure out that was... Oh, remember when I tricked you to think that your kids weren't your kids because of your eye color? Remember that? Yes. No. <laughs> yes, Sounds I did. Awesome. Yeah, he was talking about how bl how somebody with blue eyes and brown eyes couldn't make a baby with blue eyes. And you were like, and y'all were all sitting at the table, and you're like, no, I think that's true. I read that somewhere. And I'm like, well, who's going to break it to Emma? Because you have brown eyes. Uh, her mom has blue eyes, and she has blue eyes. And you were like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's right. Like, <laughs> so o we, negative is the universal donor. Yeah. We learn a lot here, though. In the movie, we learn a lot that, um, you know, again, he's getting questioned. He's like, I mean, like, no, I don't know this. I, it, he's like... They're like, do you know your mother-in-law's phone number? Like, I don't know my mother-in-law's phone number. Like, this, this. I don't know anyone's phone That's number. That's how they fucking get you, though. They, they I don't know your mother-in-law's phone and number. And they tell you that, you know, as if that's, you're supposed to know that shit, right? Um, we find out that everything, though, is in her name, right? It's getting a little bit wacky. Yeah. Well, she set yes. it up for she a long time. She did set That's... it up that way, yeah. We're yeah, finding but... out. You know, inventing the journal. Like, yeah, you're, that you're being, takes some dedication. And doing guys. the credit card purchases and all hey, that stuff. But you're being sexist on that one. Like, everything's in your name. We're married. But Rich, it's not a big boom. deal. Rich. Are we going too far? They're going ahead of the oh. the movie. Or whatever, and Stop you're not it. yelling at them. <laughs> and if I was doing that, Sean, what would happen if I was doing that? He'd lose his fucking shit, right? I'm three and drinks in, though. You'd I don't be really just care. like, no, you're fucking doing that, brother. <laughs> we're, we're not even on clip four, and they're doing the plot of the movie. Tell right. us about it, Sean. You guys Tell stop us it. how mad that would make you. Hurry. <laughs> I've already got away from Type it. Okay. <laughs> Different screen. Anywho, we find right. out everything is... Bossing my thing off. is like, he, he has a... Uh... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> we care about her. We love her, and, and we we're matching. just want her back. Uh, yeah. Amy is a decorated scholar. She forged oh. a successful career in journalism. 
She returned here to her husband's hometown, and she made a life in her adopted home. Now, Amy needs your help. We're establishing a volunteer headquarters at the Drury Lodge. We have a hotline, 1-855-4-AMY-TIPS. And our website is www.findamazingamy.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy just a little shameless plug for their book series right <laughs> that was terrible i mean that that actually made me cringe so i've seen this movie before i mean multiple times and i never noticed the guy in the background going hey smile real quick so he just does it instinctually you know like and then I, I think I just thought he just did it. I didn't hear somebody like yell. Uh, yeah, I, heard I heard them the yell it this time. time, this time yeah. too. I couldn't stand listening to the parents. God, that mom is so uh, narcissistic. Ugh. No one got on their shit for for plugging for, their book for literally series. talking about all of her successes mm-hmm. instead of oh, oh hey she's my daughter I raised her here's what she did right what? but don't you feel like the public thought that was her don't you feel yeah, like they that thought she was amazing Amy she's no amazing her parents Amy. I guess think because she's amazing. yeah. Like no, that's how her parents no. don't even know her, her. Her parents don't think she's amazing, Amy. Her parents the have fans created do. amazing Amy. No, but her parents have created this persona of their daughter that doesn't exist in their heads. That persona is their daughter. That's not true. I think so. No, I don't think th- so. that's impossible because what they've done is they've took taken everything that she's done and exclamated it like to another level. So like right. they know okay. they never got her a dog. <laughs> that's know, correct they know they never did she all that didn't awesome make the shit. volleyball team yeah she made and then the, they, yeah so, I, they rewrote but they, history they're literally, like, yeah they're literally they, just they, preying they, on the hearts he of the fans says it in that. this book he says they rewrote your childhood yeah right. every disappointment they just wrote it greater in the book right but don't you think that in they their heads her that's wedding. how they perceive her no, no they wrote her wedding before she got married because they thought and, she should already be married yeah. in correct. their heads that's how they sell books like, uh, yeah, to me. Yeah, exactly. It's supposed to be about our cute little girl, but as you've gotten older, you've kind of disappointed us. So we're going to have to keep yeah. making this girl better. No I, one's gonna buy I think in their heads, that's their daughter, and they don't know their daughter. She never achieved anything that a amazing Amy achieved. Agreed. I totally get it, I guess, what you're saying, yeah. though. Like, they're so... like, like They're, I so they're consumed, delusional. They're so consumed with what they want her to be, that's right. what they believe, which people... Do yeah. that all the time. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> so, Penny's in the office. Ugh. Could see that coming a mile away. Very hot girlfriend. <laughs> Su- super hot. Okay, What's that? <laughs> super hot <laughs> college girlfriend. Later. Su- super hot <laughs> college girl panties. You know, it, it. anyway, you know, little red panties out of the fucking inbox. You know, probably should have been in the outbox, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, they... T- <laughs> Wait, wouldn't it be the, the inbox? Wait, is I, that the butt? That what was are you talking stupid- about? <laughs> That was the stupidest <laughs> fucking joke I ever tried to set up for myself of all time. But I got a laugh from Sarah. <laughs> You're you know? welcome. That, so, thank you. You have anal in your mind. What's going on? <laughs> no, that's not what I said. You said the Eddie, outbox. You stop it. All right. So, uh, and then she's just like, uh, okay, so yeah, let's let's get back to the motion picture. Oh. Uh, they search in the house. They find clue one in the unmentionables. Right. Clue two. They go together. They find it. Right, at the office. Clue three is at the little brown house, right? Which is now blue. Right. Little brown house, which is now blue. He goes, I don't know what a little brown house... Oh, actually, here's what he goes. He said, I don't know what a little brown house... Okay, so if he's innocent, (laughs) why did he lie? Because, I mean, I think he probably knows his crazy bitch wife. And he's going, what could the next clue be? (laughs) Yeah, and also, he he already had the infidelities. They were already questioning a little bit. I think he knew that they were going to find that out. He was going to break up with her on their anniversary. He was going to... Yeah, he knew if he looked bad. I think think if you make it simple, it's So, that was like the tiniest little pair of red undies of all time, right? Mm -hmm. Like, if you've been married to somebody for a really long time, don't you have like a general grasp of what like their underwear looks like? And if it was like a special pair of underwear, you might remember them. You know what I mean? Like totally. What's, what but what are you what are you getting at? Exactly what I said. Like 
if you found a pair of underwear and you couldn't tell if it was mine or the girls you're cheating on, like, you know what underwear I wear. Especially Maybe if you're not cheating. like the color, and the, but you know, like, what shape I wear and things like that. I'll, and if I had, like, a tiny little pair of red, well, why does it have to be those. something she already had? Why couldn't she just purchase it? As a, as right. a, okay, a rich. No, but the fact that he couldn't remember whose underwear it okay, was. Okay, a weird. rich. Uh, stop. Secondly, uh, if he's having sex with one girl that's eighteen in his office, he's having sex with ten. That it could, could that have could been be. any. He couldn't remember if it was his wife. Doesn't no. He knew that it wasn't his wife. No, he, he said, said it that. later. He, he said his it. Sister, he said it. No, he, he yeah. said it because what? What? What else would you say? Because well, his girlfriend said because he, they everyone weren't already hers. knew it. Yeah, it was already out there. Like no. he said, he couldn't remember. Like maybe they were. But yeah, maybe his sister but, in like a comfortable what are you, setting. What are you gonna say? Will I fuck twelve other girls in here? No, but that was already who out. wanted a hundred on their you're spelling test. But we're right. Some people can't fuck twelve girls. <laughs> just <laughs> just me. a side note. Like I can barely handle one. Yeah, I think you were just doing it to two. that girl. Which one? Anyone. <laughs> anyway, so I got, I got a serious question though. Could if you were in this situation, let's say at the press conference where we just were, yeah, and could you act like how would you? I would be in my head the entire time. Of course, they're thinking it's me doing this. Like it's always the husband. Yeah, what do I do with my hands? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I, I would be the same way. I would have the same problem as he that he's having, which is I would look guilty as shit because I'm so in my head trying not to look guilty as shit. I think the well, thing I just think he's a piece of he... shit because like he didn't. Okay, so they resented each other in their marriage and it wanted to be over. But like, how much can you hate somebody to not even be sad that they could be fucking dead and missing? Like you don't even like he didn't ever even at any point in this movie acted sad at all. I feel like him as much as is as, as you and I have. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but as much as you and I have had strife between each other, mm. if you were missing, I'd be distraught about it. You know, so. Uh, well, thank you. That's very sweet. Yeah, I wasn't really going. <laughs> I'm gonna for be that, honest but. though. If she ends up missing right now, I already. Not, yeah, I'm already yeah. assuming it's you. No, no, no. He had to put you put your <laughs> no, statement not, out early. He's not even a suspect at all. I mean, it's whomever is living in the house doing that. So the guy, it, I don't feel like. He's, I feel like the guy's confused. Right now, I'd be mauled to death by dogs. I feel like what he thinks is, holy shit, this is fucked up. We're not in love anymore. I, whatever. Do you feel like he's being, he thinks he's being framed at this point? Me, at okay. this point. No. Uh, me and you have been together for like six years, and I think if your ex-wife went missing completely, you would be hysterical over it. Uh-huh. I really do. This like, is being recorded, so you better. No, I'm serious. I think she doesn't listen. Yeah, she doesn't even listen to a scene. Like, I know, but <laughs> ever, ever. But like, she still at gets least upset. But well, didn't you meet her at a concert? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. I'm talking about like anybody. Like I just, I, I think if Not my, my dad went missing, my mom would be like upset. Like there, yeah. and she fucking can't, you know, stay at him half the time. Like I think here that you're seeing a guy who is trying to get out. He's trying to get out to the point where he's already moved on in his life and this and this. There's no kids yet. You know, the guy's just trying to figure this out. How do I get the hell out of it? Actually, you know what? But, fuck to, not, but to not care that Does, she's potentially dead. You, Does he also, think that like, she's crazy enough already? That, that's exactly what I think. I, that's a, I've been more upset about that people she's on doing Facebook. some crazy thing. Right. Uh, doesn't I think, know that. She, I think he was in shock. Initially, like that's when, probably when true he too. first comes home and that's he realizes true. she's not there, you hear him scream and the neighbor hears. I mean, that's that happens in the book, too. Like he was upset. But then I think everything just started getting, you know, kind of out of hand. And then he got defensive and and he's just, he's has a flat affect anyway. I mean, maybe he's he has on the he, spectrum. Ben, he know. also <laughs> has a flat affleck. Not a flat <laughs> I, was, affleck. I was thinking that. You're nailing it. Now, uh, so a recession has <laughs> happened. Um, they they start losing their jobs, of course. Their parents are borrowing from her trust fund. Which it was is a bad year for Tony and Guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they didn't have us. <laughs> it was my first year out into the business world. Now, I'm going oh, to be, I'm gonna be honest with you. Mean. So let's say I'm at a press conference. Yeah. Now, I'm fucking famous. So... If I'm walking out of a press conference, I could vouch for that. Where uh, Casey is dead, <laughs> and someone wants to take a picture, missing. I'm 100 smiling in that fucking picture. I'm gonna fucking smile in that because you know why? 
That's a fan for life. Like, <laughs> You're I can't, such a dick. No, but I can't. <laughs> listen to me. I can't. There's no way I can find you right now. I still want to sell records. Right. So I'm going to be like. <laughs> you, right, sad. And I'm, you can write one and like just totally. Like, no, I'm going to be. Use I'm, my death as like a. I, I am going to 100% like get my arm around him. Thumbs up. And then I'm going to like. like you go, are my dead wife. Whatever. whatever. <laughs> But then I'm just and then 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 I'm ho- I hope they're sympathetic. They're just like, but like thank do you it to a photo. Green Day guitar riff. You know, oh. what I mean? thank you for the photo. And I'll be like, yeah, I really appreciate you being here today. I really do. But uh, oh, hold on, I need to take a photo over here really quick. Hold on, let me end. The- we get over there for a minute. You're not even invited. Then it, here's the- some- it's out there right now in the world. If I ever go missing, Jared's not invited to the fucking just, press conference. Just, just, My just. mom only. Just, just, I'm trying to be funny. I'm leading into the it's girl out there. Too late. who is going to make him this chicken Frito pie <laughs> oh, or whatever. God. Did it sound delicious? Oh, it sounded I'd so delicious. I'd never heard delicious. of chicken Frito pie. Yeah. I was yeah. like, really? That's Why sweet. do you have to smile? Me? Why do you have to smile? Oh. Why not just be a person and just be like, yeah, whatever. Why not just go like, no, thank you. My fucking wife's missing, you psychopath. Amen. I don't know if I could do it. I think I'd be like, well, you, I know my wife's missing. It can't be that nonsense. I'd self-aware. be like, I, I know my wife's missing. Why you, are you even like walking the room? What, Just go would, out would you, away from Would everybody. you please come to my next show so that I could sell it? <laughs> oh, like, my God. My wife would really no, like No, that's it what I would be like, if though. If sold out my next show. Yeah, yeah I mean. <laughs> She'd be really into it. I'm so sorry. That, I'm so sorry my wife is dead. I hope we sell out the Bronco Bowl. <laughs> sorry. The Bronco Bowl's dead, too. Never mind. Did we sell out uh, Wembley? The, the regular Wembley this Or time. the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Not just the arena. Yeah, I'll see. So, at this point, we figure out that he doesn't like Frito chicken pie, apparently. And Can we get the recipe for that? No, I'm going to be honest. I'd have taken that girl into the limo. I'm yeah. kidding. Oh, uh, why is there a limo? She was on, uh, she was on um, Episodes. Have you seen the show Episodes no, on I Showtime? I don't know who you're talking it's about. It's great. So, uh, so f- it, where's the golf clubs? Where's the Stratocaster? He moves her to my Missouri. Apparently, he didn't ask her to move to Missouri, You know, which is, to me, her fault. Like, just say, I don't care if your mother's dying. I'm not moving to fucking Missouri. Um, no, that's weird. That she died, <laughs> right? Sean, God damn it, she did die. No, no. So she was. So sick. why can't they move back? She was sick. Why are they still there? There's nothing keeping right. them there. That she was sick. He can own the bar and play Parcheesi somewhere else. Right. Is right? that a thing? Parche- what but is his Parche- twin Z? sister is there. He wants to be with family. Yeah, but she's been there. By and her his- family's what? weird, so they don't need to be near her family. They need to be near his twin sister. I don't know. I, I feel like... Who is a great actress. All right, I'll get way. into this later, but... All right, I'll get into it later. Okay, what is it you're going to get into later? I thought the twin sister was amazing, by the she's way. She's great. She was on... She's awesome. Um, she was on... And it's weird. They dress her down. Yeah. I think she's super hot. She is, she's in uh, she's The Leftovers. In the Leftovers. She's also in the new uh, ep- season two of The Sinner. And Fargo, the new Wait, Fargo. What do you mean I season the two of The Sinner? It's yeah, out? It's out on USA Who's right she, now. Who is she in Avengers? There are five episodes in she's right in now. Infinity War. Is she really? Yeah. I don't know. Small part. Uh, thank you, because yep. I'm going to go watch it's, that right it's, now. It's good. It's... Oh, by the way, Ozark is out. <gasps> what? Season two of Ozark okay. is out, uh, and if you're not watching Better Call Saul season four, that's out. That's amazing. Oh, good. and also uh, Jack Ryan is out on Amazon, um, which I'm going to start watching. All right, sorry. Go ahead. Clip. Hey, I've been thinking. Yeah. Something positive. Maybe it's time. Now is literally the worst time. Well, it'd be a new start for us, and for me, I would have a real purpose here. A child is not a hobby. Not a hobby. An inspiration. We could have had this fight four hours ago. I'm late. I didn't know it was going to be a fight. You really want to be the couple that has a baby to save their marriage? Save? I, reboot, retool, rekindle, whatever. And you're going to walk out yeah, the door now? I, yeah. You're a fucking coward. No. You can't go on like this. Oh, really? I won't. You won't? You won't? But it's not good enough for you? It's not even close. What scared me wasn't that he'd push me. What scared me was how much he wanted to hurt me more. 
What scared me was that I'd finally realized I am frightened of my own husband. So is that real? No. I don't I, think so. No. Was, it's not. Okay. I have a problem with this. Yeah. So hold on. Hold on. So they've read the book. So. It was she, her retelling of it. Yeah. He didn't do that. This is no. her stories He's, in the in the diary never now la- that are fake. He, he never laid a hand on her. Right. He never did. So all of that. Like they asked him in the thing, like, was the sugar thing true? Yes. Was this true? Yes. What about this? He's like, no. Like, I never laid a hand on my wife. Like, that was not true. Like, and right. he wanted the kid. She didn't want to have she a baby. She didn't want to have a baby. Now, so I, <laughs> I do remember that, but I thought that that was just him being defensive about that. So you thought yeah, it was I was real. confused about that so too. I had, I kind of have a problem with storytelling like this, where, um. They're showing a scene. That's why you got to read the book. Well, they're showing a scene. Shannon, if you don't stop talking about the goddamn book, <laughs> Jared goes to the book. But seriously, club. keep talking about the book. It they, they're showing a scene as if it happened, but it didn't happen. Like as a viewer, I'm like, you feel like it happened. It, you feel like it happened. Right. However, how they kind of get away with it is at the very end of this scene. It. It it switches into her, her narrative, narrative. Mm-hmm. where she's it, where they're reading this in her diary or whatever eventually, um, and she's finishing off the thing. So that's your sort of clue that oh, this is her telling of this. I'm so, going to be honest until right now when we watch this just now, you thought it was real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So did I. Yeah. So Jarrett, yeah. back to the book. In the book, Shannon. <laughs> It doesn't just switch back from <laughs> his to hers. Some of the chapters are literally her journal entry, then his perspective, her journal entry, his perspective. So until you turn the page and see that she duped him all along, you don't realize that you don't kn- you don't is, know yeah. which version which is, is the truth. Ah, right. Interesting. So, so the book's pretty good. Absolutely. Katie Tell Morgan disagrees, but I think I'm going with your version of this. I think I'd like the book. Well, she I'm thought saying. both of them were stupid, so right. you can't. Really. Yeah, the the, <laughs> I guess, I guess why I thought the movie was great was because I didn't read the book, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I was like, you know, the whole time I was watching the movie, was I, I and I I kept looking at Casey and looking. Hey, my knee hurts. Where you rub my feet, and and I, and I, I, I think I, I think I may have said this a couple of times because, and and I don't know, maybe I didn't, but if I if I didn't say it out loud, I was thinking I was just like, man, I am so glad I did not read this book before I watched this movie <laughs> because, um, okay, God, this movie for is so real though, we watched this movie and it was hard for me because he would look at me and go like something's up with him or this and like i'm a movie talker so i want to be like just wait because you had already seen it yeah, yeah, yeah. And i'm like just that's how i usually am like oh right. you, and then he then he kind of picks up on what's happening right. so i had to tell him from the beginning i said here's the deal i I'm, cannot talk to you about this movie right. at all any scene not right. even one of them even whenever like you think we finally can we can't so just watch it right it and it was so that, hard and i did it yeah. You did, and so from now on, anytime we ever watch television together, I'm going to say, pretend it's Gone Girl. <laughs> <laughs> that, doesn't work. that doesn't work on fucking RuPaul's hey, Drag Race. She doesn't <laughs> or Teen Mom. The entire time I'm watching television. That was my uh, my ex. Which one? The second one. <laughs> she hate. I talk all the time as I'm like, I want to talk about the show. We're watching the show. You even talk in the opening credits. Exactly. Oh, I hate when they... Change the version of the screen. You know what, Rich? Let's oh my god, schedule. are you serious? I did that back then. Yes. Let's give oh her some time to watch TV together. Uh, she talk. would get s- my. I want to be invited. My second act <laughs> oh, would get yeah, so real. mad because when the theme song would play Sarah, on the thing. No, you don't. Oh. <laughs> my ex- my second act would get so mad because when the theme song would play, I would go one or the other. I would always say, "This theme song really gets me into the show," or I would say. This theme song is terrible. Me, it it doesn't get me into the show. We totally do that too. We're like, I fucking butt. hate this song. I knew I yeah, you, you can't say that about Sarah because me and Sarah Gosh. have literally gotten together and watched television and movies more times than I can count. Like our whole friendship has <laughs> consisted of laying on one or each other's beds watching TV just and not fucking watching anything. Watching any of the shows. <laughs> Ever. 
<laughs> we have like rented, paid money for movies. We've never watched anything. That is true. Girls. <laughs> no, whenever a, a movie starts and it says this film has been modified from its ri- Rich goes, I hate when they do that. <laughs> Every single movie we I'll ever just throw up my watched. hands. I'm like, God damn it. Just like they just, fucking modified it. Just like every time we pull into a restaurant and you get a good parking space, he always goes, Must be the front row. I and, do that every and, time. I, oh my god. Who doesn't every time. do that? I every time. Who doesn't do that? Right. Bob Euchre. Bob Euchre. Must be in that, the front row. That's a Every god. fucking time. Hey, Even if I'm in the back row, must be in the front row. Rich, <laughs> that is a sports reference. Sir. It is, sort of. It's a Miller Lite reference. But sir. I, it, I started doing it again after we got reacquainted, uh-huh. and now the kids are like, oh, dad does that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I like, the <laughs> semen in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> dad does that, too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know anything about that. <laughs> okay. I love uh, this sister right here you fucking idiot Mm -hmm. (laughs) you fucking asshole you fucking lied to my fucking face it was an adjective a noun a verb (laughs) (laughs) how old is she in her early 20s how long year and a half you lied to me for over a year oh if i told you you would have made me stop it's so fucking (laughs) small you're a liar and a cheat you're just like dad how did you even meet her one of my students. I thought writers hated cliches. I'm not a writer. Oh, boo-hoo, I got laid off. I guess I'll fuck a teenager. Look, it wasn't like that, okay? You have no idea how shitty it was with Amy, how fucking terrible she made me feel. Flyover boy. I would get nuts in my stomach just coming home, knowing she would be sitting there dissatisfied before I even walked in the fucking door. This is so bad. If anybody finds out, you're totally fucked. Well, that's his issue. That's I know that this scene would be the same if Silent Sean programmed his... Yes, his verb, his words over like that's been acting. Like it's the same so act. Bad. It's the same acting. But she was badass. Yes, amazing. One, Jesus. two, three, four, five. Nope, I missed the semen. I just think that. <laughs> I think that whole entire thing, like I, all of that, I could hear you saying, Sarah. Oh. Every fucking word of that is you talking to anybody in your family. I don't, I don't, shit. I don't, I don't know that. I don't think that there's a problem in this scene at all. I think she is so good. She's We're talking great. About him. He's talking about Ben. No, but but. Because he's like, because you'd make me stop. Let him listen. Let him. Oh, he's terrible in the whole movie. (laughs) Right. He's Ben Affleck. Right. He's being Ben Ben Affleck. Admitting that he dissatisfies (laughs) his wife. I mean, that's a problem anyway. But does he? So, like, going back to what you guys were saying before, should we give him the benefit of the doubt here? Is it that she's sitting there being crazy going? I wish we had a theme song for that. What did you do today? Were you out there being brilliant? Teaching people the level of I didn't see any of that education. I think she no. wanted him to bring his A game like he did at that party every single day. The way like like she wanted like she that kind she of was doing to him what her parents well, did to her. Well, she said she was faking being the girl that the, he thought cool that she girl. should be. So when he stopped being that guy, yeah. She disappointed him. Tell uh, he me, disappointed him. Man, I tell was me so where, cool tell me where it goes back. Fat. Tell me, tell me where it goes back and forth. Because <laughs> if you're saying the book is better, and they say this and this, so when he when she comes home, and he's playing video games, ugh, ugh, God. is that real? <laughs> I and P.S. That would ne- I oh, I've never God. even played a video game. That's not unless true. it's one of with one of my kids. Okay. By the way. What's wrong with her being disappointed in him being a fucking loser? Yes, thank you. I would want, I mean, I I always want, we were married for uh, for eight years. I I always wanted to to be a better person the next day for her. Like, I always wanted Mm. that. Like, I always always felt the pressure. He never told me that, though. Well, that's very true. We had so, a bad. We we didn't communicate as well as we should have. She, but guys, I always wanted to be a better man and a better husband for her. I again, I did internalize that because I I felt like I wasn't I wasn't holding up my end of the bargain, and she was, and and so I buried myself in the work. But blah blah blah. But my my point is, 
what's wrong with that pressure? Exactly. That's like a stigma. I, oh, sorry. No, you're fine. Go ahead. There's like a stigma with women where we're supposed to always like support our man. And it's like a thing. <laughs> but like support in that man. southern accent. Exactly. But like, okay, for instance, when me and Jarrett first started dating, I had family members that just straight up asked me. They were like, is this like a security thing? Is Ugh. that what's going on? And I said, if you're asking me if I'm attracted to the fact that he works really hard and has earned yes. his way. And there's yes, nothing wrong with that. The same way that if somebody was fucking sitting on their couch all day smoking pot and being a fucking loser, I would not be attracted. Thank he you. busts his ass and he does well. So, yes, that's an attractive quality. No, it's not a security thing. It's not why I'm dating him. But, of course, that's an attractive quality. There's nothing wrong with a woman dating a guy so because a, they feel secure with him. Yeah, somebody that there's like... nothing wrong with that. Yeah, somebody that's taking care of themselves and is confident and doing these it things. It doesn't like, mean that you are incapable. Of, of taking care of exactly. yourself but, but why can't you be attracted to a guy that that brings home the bacon why what's wrong with that or there's that just, nothing or, wrong or just a guy that works hard is yeah, attractive it's attractive it doesn't matter how much money they make a guy right. that goes and busts his ass every day is attractive right now let me ask and and sincerely like be honest about this so let's say i get married you did to me yeah, i know but let's Which say one? hold on <laughs> We're doing the jokes over here. Now you, now you talk. <laughs> Let's say, like, no matter whom I get married to, and they bring home the bacon, mm -hmm. and I don't like bacon. He doesn't at all. <laughs> now, where Sometimes does turkey bacon? Where does that leave me? Ew, you like turkey bacon, but you don't like regular bacon. Now, I love this Nancy Grace playoff, <laughs> oh, like yeah. the thing or whatever they do, like. Yeah. It's so great. I love hate her. How they do I that. I do too. Yes. Yeah. I love hate her so, as well. Sometimes I'm right with her. I'm like, yeah, that child must piece of shit should go to fucking burn in hell. Can I sometimes say that? Oh, I meant the actress. I think that, oh. that his character, I mean, he had gotten laid off and he was depressed. Sure. And I just, Flip I, burgers. I think there needed to be a little bit of either grace that she gave to him for, for being depressed. Or Team she, up though. She needed to help encourage him to get some therapy or Who are you something. talking about? She did, though. She funded and She I, bought him a bar. She gave in him a the hobby. Marriage? That's not therapy, though. I mean, like, he was all depressed. All he did was like, go fuck a fucking 20-year-old uh, well, while well, she's, like, he funding was, all of his I'm story. talking about the, the scene I'm, where he was playing video games and she came home and so... No way. Absolutely so, not. Benefit of the doubt guy coming in. Here's the thing. If you, you get married and everybody, like, we're all on the same page and yada yada... And some this guy is laid off for this this and this and there's a trust fund and they it, it here's the other thing you have no say no say at all when her parents want to borrow from that trust fund right. no that's to okay. go and to keep funding the thing because you know what you should be doing saying you know what fuck it we don't need it and right that's their Thank money you. yes that's Agreed. their money and and you know what it's nice that they put that out there but it's not ours. They should have that to live the rest. What's of What's wrong life. with living on a professor's salary? You can't just teach. He, him. Well, he he wasn't he wasn't at that time that particular scene where he was playing video games and she came home and he said, "Oh, you bought all. a computer, right?" He wasn't working. Yeah, what are you doing? And they were topping. Like he doesn't even have anything to do with it. He just bought it. So and also, I mean, I'm going back to the scene you guys showed a second ago where he chunks her. Was that entire scene? Fabricated because the the fight I don't think they he got into her. no because well, she but never had a baby. Verbal. <laughs> the actual, I hate you so much. <laughs> also, I Sarah, <laughs> we've already talked about that. I know, but I I know, but you guys talked about that's if he in hit her, her head. That's no, in her. That's in her fictionary diary. No, all and that's fake because he wanted to they be set, she didn't. The reason oh, that they conversation wouldn't have even happened. The reason they set up the the computer is to seem like he's just buying all kinds of shit all the time. Right. Oh, so the computer might have been fabricated bullshit too. Could I don't know about been. that. Because well, she did a whole credit card I feel like full we need of to bullshit. Watch the whole thing. Damn it. <laughs> We're having a post. I think we should all have to read the party. book and have a book club discussion about it. Oh my god. It. <laughs> okay. See you guys next I'm leaving year. all this in. Oh, look, here's the thing. They. It, it's not like he was going out and just like spending money and. Doing all that. If he bought a new computer, he bought a new computer because he really was trying. He was did, a writer. Did he want to be married to her anymore? Well, no, he didn't. The whole did, go ahead. the whole point is 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 she's she's writing all of the stuff that you're talking about in mm -hmm. the in the book, and we see Where's a lot from? in the movie to set him up. Is to set him up, and she even says the the whole the key is to put a lot of truth 
and then mix it with a lot of yeah, fiction. Yeah, yeah. We don't know what was sense. true. We don't know what was fiction. That's just what was being read out of her diary. You hear it in her voice. Interesting. So, but, but this in, is what the police are reading in the but diary. But in the book, it's Enough clear. So if he told a story, no, they I go, don't think it's thought. clear in the book. Well, I do. I do. So Why? Shannon, because it, it's it's her stop, diary. Stop. But it, Shannon, this is fiction. In the, in the book, is it clear? No, he asks you about the book. In the book, it's her diary. Right, and he, he and he's not writing a diary. So right. So it's told in first person point of view on his part, and then her part is. In the form of a journal entry, which is the thing that they found in the furnace to in right. to um um in, in, what's the word? Why wouldn't you burn this? No, she's as evidence or, to make him look guilty, to, yeah. right? So to incriminate him. So yeah, incriminate. That's the word I was looking for. So mm -hmm. the 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 diary that was found is partially fiction, partially real. We don't. We actually have no idea. I thought it was what all was real. Contrived. She told him. No, no. She even says she some of this in. is real, some of this is fiction. She said it in the movie, All right. and but we don't know. We we don't know what is real and what is not. Agreed. So he may not even like video games, <laughs> right? Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Can What's we, up, ladies? Not hi. Now this is maybe the beginning of my favorite ever of these ever. I have. I have Katie Morgan in her her three hundred dollar gaming headphones drinking wine, and she may be a little bit drunk. And then I've got it's, go ahead, Katie. What, what were you gonna it's say? It's almost gone. I drank it all. She almost drank it all. <laughs> then I've got Lucy Murray who just finished workout. And then what are you doing now? Having some she, pizza or some shit? No, she goes to a bar. Uh, no, she goes and eats tacos. I'm having a burrito and a Red Bull Rita. Okay, a Red Bull Rita, which is where they stick the uh, bur uh, the Red Bull. Before it leaks that out sound, of there into the thing. That sounds disgusting. Basically, they've got these things. In anything now, you could have an anything Rita, right? So, like, you take a margarita and mm -hmm. you just shove anything in it, and like, it's that Rita, right? That sounds dirty. You could have a taquita Rita. Like a, a dairy That's Rita? That's where you go just and get a taquito. What? Dairy Rita? What's a dairy Rita? Milk and tequila. Okay, Gross. you're not getting the point oh, at all. Oh. It's like when I you, you take said like a thing. So let me simplify it for a second. Keep that robe away what, from What would it be if, if you had a coca -rita? What would that be? Coke and tequila. Wrong. It'd be a Sprite. I'd say, like, I'm going to go get a Coke, but I'd choose Sprite. See, that's just, <laughs> you're obviously not from Texas. Because when we go get a Coke. I'm from Atlanta, which right. is where they make the Coke. When we go get a Coke, it could literally be anything. If I'm going to go get a Coke, sometimes I might get a Mountain Dew. Mm -hmm. You never know. <laughs> guys, it's so good to see you guys. It's time for five questions with six questions and a high score of seven. Thank Ladies, you. were both of you able to watch the movie this week? Yes. I read the book and watched the movie. Both were stupid. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so she uh, uh she like overstudied. Now, so this this movie was called Gone Girl. A lot of surprises in this movie for me. I'm wondering if there were equally as many Finally. Of what? Do you surprised by a movie? You usually yeah. guess all the Oh no, I did not points. guess one thing about this. Excellent. Until like, until 100%. Like basically I thought it was the Scott Peterson story. Then it got to the end, did not get any of it, and then it just kept, I kept going, Jesus Christ, how much <laughs> more can I not fucking guess? Because I just feel like I'm smarter than all film right, yeah, guys or whatever. So, I anyway, I, no, I did not get this one at all. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, question number one will, of course, I'm, I'm sorry, ladies, question number one will, of course, be about the movie Gone Girl. In the movie Gone Girl, our leading man, Nick, does an impression oftentimes of what? Superhero. What impression does he do all the time of a superhero? Ah. He sounds a lot like a superhero sometimes. What superhero does he sound like? <laughs> all right, Lucy, are you I, not writing down tonight? You're I just... have nothing to write on. All right, and then uh, Katie, are you writing down? Uh -huh. Okay, that means that we do have to go to you, Lucy, each time first. Lucy, okay. what is your answer? Batman. Okay, she said Batman. Katie. Yeah, Batman. 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 That's Batman. She's also, her paper that she's using 
is the uh, cardboard that goes between a a uh, case of sodas <laughs> that you buy I at Costco. Can't walk straight. It was close. <laughs> Unbelievable. Great job, guys. It is one-to-one going into question number two. You're both doing fantastic. Here we go. In the movie Gone Girl, the star of our motion picture, I forget her name, she was neither gone nor a girl. (laughs) True or false? That's right. The star of our movie, she was neither gone nor a girl. True or false? Lucy looking a little confused. That's right. It could be a trick question, or it could not be. Here we go. Uh, Lucy, in the movie Gone Girl, our main character of the movie was neither gone nor a girl. True or false? False. She went false? Let's go to Katie Morgan now. I mean, true that she wasn't gone and her name is Amy? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. She was definitely a girl. She was. <laughs> is she, though? I would argue woman, just very, very. Uh, uh, feminist. Sorry, I'm sorry, I can't give you that, uh, unfortunately. Um, it may be the wine talking. All right, let's go to question number three. Here we go. Question number three. It is. No, Lucy got that one right. It is two to one, Lucy Murray, with a commanding lead. Going into question number three. Question number three will be about the movie Gone Girl. In the movie Gone Girl, we are watching this story and we are reminded of what international scandal case murder that happened in recent times. Was it A, Scott Peterson, B, O.J. Simpson, C, Charles Manson, or D, just because it's the greatest answer of all time, Charles Nelson Riley? (laughs) <laughs> was it a scott peterson b i forgot who that was charles c manson. charles manson or d just because it's the greatest answer of all time charles nelson riley <laughs> let's go to lucy put more growl in go with a. she's going with a scott peterson it reminded her of scott peterson katie morgan what did you say you're old and i know none of these I'm sorry, that is incorrect. That is right. It was Scott Peterson reminded us of that. It was a trick question. It is three to one. But it is true that you are old and she doesn't Stop know any of those. calling me old, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> question number four will, of course, be about the movie Gone Girl. The movie Gone Girl. When Ben Siller shows up at Gone Girl's house, she has huh? what in her hair? <laughs> Do you mean Ben Affleck? <laughs> What does Ben Stiller see in Gone Girl's hair? <laughs> That's right. So is it uh, shaving cream? Is it semen? Or is it hair gel? What is that? Uh, let's let's go. Lucy Mary, what did you say? I could not hear the question. Oh. It, it probably doesn't matter. All right. So uh, I'll say B. She, she, she said <laughs> semen. Yeah. All right. Now, Katie Morgan, what would you say? I couldn't remember the order, so I wrote down jizz. That is correct. You both got it correct. That is right. (laughs) Vin Stiller did find jizz in Gone Girl's hair. Now, going into question number five, this, of course, will be about the movie Gone Girl. Good luck to both of you. This could mean make or break for you both. Now, keep in mind, Katie Morgan, though you are behind just a smidge, you are still going to have a chance to come back and win this whole thing. Lucy, don't let up on her. Let's fucking take this thing home. Both of you, please concentrate. Here we go. In the movie Gone Girl, the books that Gone Girl's parents were written about what character? What character were the books that her parents wrote about? I'm seeing it. Katie Morgan is still driving. I feel like uh, I don't. I'm riding, not driving. That would be fucking terrible for both. I of should us. not be driving right now. Totally agree. Please do not play pole position after this. <laughs> I can see your headset's already <laughs> so on. It's topical. already fucking confusing. All right, let's go to Lucy. Lucy, what do you say? 
Amazing Amy. Amazing Amy, and what did you say there, Gone Girl? I also wrote Amazing, Amazing Amy. Amy. That is correct. Good job, guys. I'd like to thank our guests tonight for clapping along with me and Rich. It's going fucking great. <laughs> now, uh, number six, let's go to Rich for Rich's oh, yeah. bonus question. All right, ladies. How many tapioca puddings is appropriate to let your significant other eat in one sitting? Here are your options. One, one, two, two, or three, three. <laughs> How many tapioca puddings is appropriate to let your significant other eat at one sitting? One, one, two, two, or three, three. Hmm. All right, now, um, it doesn't matter who answers this first. They both get a chance, right? Yeah. All right, so. Well, I mean, Lucy has to answer first. She and does, then, yeah. yeah. Okay, Lucy, go ahead. I'm going to say three okay that's your answer next mm. she burned. i went off book because the movie did and wrote all of it that shiz is tasty <laughs> the answer is two and then you quickly grab them both and take them to the kitchen so she can't have any more so now they're a bad that right. person yeah I, i'm just going off the movie all right so it is now five to three lucy is winning i'm pretty sure that was creme brulee I know it's creme brulee, but it's not as funny as tapioca pudding. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. It is five to three, ladies it's and gentlemen. It's when she was getting fat because she right. was trying to hide herself. I know, she and he was all creme like, "Creme brulee," <laughs> and and the dude was being a douche and took it because he didn't want her to be exactly, fat. Exactly, because it's not appropriate. Why do I not remember that? You know, when she's watching the because interview, it was for like she's five like seconds. sucking down uh, the little pudding thing. Oh, that's right. And then he was watching her eat. His, because yeah. she ate hers, and then she grabbed his and ate his, and then he's when like grabs with, both of them and brings them both when to the she's kitchen. With Neil Patrick Harris, or yes, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that got uh -huh. fucking weird. Quick. <laughs> All right, well, here's the deal. Uh, it is now. The answer's two. It is now five to three. Uh, uh -huh. Lucy has a commanding lead. Lucy, you can sit nicely right now with your Gerard Agrita and uh, enjoy that. Katie Morgan, you have a chance to win this whole thing. All you have to do is get this next answer right with Shannon's super hard question. Here we go. Shannon, speak into the mic. It's not actually my question, but it was, this is, it this was is provided TV. to me. The magic so. of TV. Well, it's not multiple choice, so good luck. It's supposed to be a super hard. In the movie Gone Girl, what year was Amy's first journal entry? Hmm. Super hard. In the movie Gone Girl, what year was Amy's first journal entry? Okay, I can see that she's thinking, guys. She's also still got a Sennheiser gaming headset on. <laughs> My phone has a shitty speaker. <laughs> That is incorrect. <laughs> Drunk Katie Morgan may be the best. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Right. What is your answer, Katie? Uh, I wrote down 2011. It's either that or 2012. I, I think can't that's remember close, actually. What is the answer? Was it 2007? 2005. Sorry, the answer is 2005. Oh. Our winner tonight, Lucy Murray. Without even saying Prague. With a fantastic <laughs> showing by Katie Morgan. Katie, great job. First time to speak to you drunk. Please drink all the time when we're talking to you. Lucy, go get drunk. Feel free to phone in later into the show if you'd like to. And uh, both of you, seriously. Jesus I mean, we're not going to answer, but feel free. Yeah, we'll see. Guys, seriously. I'll participate in this happily. This shit was <laughs> awful. <laughs> go join in on the uh, whatever the thing Check. is that they pay attention to. I know. And uh, we love you guys. Thank you very, very much. We'll see you guys soon, okay? Uh -huh. Bye, guys. Someone had an orgasm right there. This last. Mm -hmm. She can still hear I you. I did not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> can't... Wow. Well. Um, we can. We got time for a bonus episode. Yeah, let's do one. What do you want to? What's the topic? Do you have any topics you want to talk about that are unrelated to anything? Boom! It's big now. Um.
Lucy Mary wants to be better at guitar and the ability to cook. We could talk about um, <coughs> I think I spit in this. I'm going to drink it. Ooh. That's fucking gross. I think I really did. Oh, bye. It's not <laughs> Do you know that? Oh shit! Hold on. Fuck. Oh. Uh, we have company. That was all that thing. That wasn't me. What's that? I drank Chris's dip a couple of times. You know that uh, his dad thinks that I did because I spit my beers after I'm done.
You know, you haven't <laughs> overfilled it. And, so you know. No spoilers here in this song. If you disagree, he'll say you're wrong. Too many laughs out of the blue, and way too many characters, too. Rich didn't like The Last Jedi at all. Rich didn't like The Last Jedi at all. He liked the voice, Clinton. he loved the mask of the guy that killed Han Solo was ass, Leia's son, imagine that, he talked to Darth Vader's melted hat, the rich liked every scene with Kylo Ren, rich liked every scene with Kylo Ren. Just close your eyes and you can see him Throwing his hands up in the air <laughs> So frustrated now with Disney He wants to punch John Lannis in the face And burn Mickey Mouse at the stake Ray and Poe, C-3PO The real tall chick from Get Alright, we still on? Yep Next my favorite. Essie. Now that I'm my dead. favorite. Essie. Drains is how. What drink is this? One? Technically missing. Soon to be presumed dead. Gone. And my lazy, lying, cheating, oblivious husband will go to prison for my murder. Nick Dunn took my pride and my dignity and my hope and my money. He took and took from me until I no longer existed. That's murder. Let the punishment fit the crime. To 
sake of convincing murder, you have to have discipline. <laughs> you befriend all a local idiot. A local idiot. idiot. <laughs> I love that dumbass. Harvest the details of her humdrum life. Tell and me more. Cram her with stories about your husband's violent temper. And see the she's not pregnant there. You can see how long she wove this. Yeah, she worked yeah. on it for a long time. Yeah, months and months, maybe close to a year. So, this but here's the thing: like, probably guess, as soon as I she guess, got forced to live in Missouri, so she I didn't want to be there. For me, I, I I would just think like, why? So you wove this web for mm-hmm. so long. Why not just try to be happy? Doesn't she sound just like her mother she when she's narrating like the, that part? Of, uh, actually, you know, yeah. to be fair, she sounds like the lady that's uh, narrating Desperate Housewives. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's so true. Yeah. I like the scene whenever this this car scene happens, and she's got the bandage, and you can see the blood, and she's driving. Like this was fun as somebody who already saw this movie with somebody who had never seen it. Because I remember I was this moment. Ask you that. This first time I watched this movie, I was by myself. I mean, I'm like, okay, if I could watch Gone Girl, everyone right. says I should. I was too. And yeah. I was like, <gasps> like holy shit! Like I remember that, and I looked over, and he was just like. I'm like, did you expect that? He's like, mm mm, you know? <laughs> but I still wouldn't talk about the rest of the movie, but it was cool to I watch. I love that it it seemed like good, it blew it blew your mind, right? We're good at it figuring yeah. shit out. Like yeah. we always are. Me and him both like are like, no, oh, this they yeah. just do it. normally that. have it figured out. And I, I thought that. I had it figured and I definitely knew that he didn't murder her for sure. Mm-hmm. So I was like, Okay, it's gonna be like a Scott Peterson thing. He fucked a girl and blah blah blah. Scott Peterson said it, Scott, yeah, he did. What? I need to rewatch. I need to rewatch. Totally. Hold on. The I didn't Network. fucking say Scott Peterson didn't kill the lady. He said it's like Scott it's Peterson. Like, it's like an OJ he thing. It, he didn't do he it. He was obviously oh, innocent. But Jesus Christ. That's not what I meant. <laughs> it's like a play on the Scott Peterson thing, only this guy didn't kill her. There's, yeah, that, Lacey said definitely did not set him up. <laughs> Wait, who's Lacey? The dead girl. Uh, the Scott actual Peterson's one. wife? Yeah. I was God kidding. rest her Men soul. Men always get more credit. I was, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute! He killed a guy named he killed a guy named Lacey. Oh my god! <laughs> you know from Cagney and Lacey. Oh, love this guy. I have been sitting. By Good the joke, friend. Shannon. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Do you sorry. not believe me? <laughs> no, I believe you. It's just the craziest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I mean, I love it. <laughs> For you. It- it sucks, but you you got to have a grudging respect for your wife at this point. <laughs> are you laughing me out of the building? No, or? are you kidding me? I'm in. I'm way in. You came to the right guy. This is what I do, Nick. This is why I have a $100,000 retainer. I win the unwinnable cases. $100,000. Yeah, we'll figure something out. I'll give you a special. My wife is skilled in the art of vengeance, Ray. Okay. <laughs> So, what's the plan? Well, right now, it's a he said, she said. She's telling a better story. No, Nick. Yeah. She is telling the perfect story. So, we need to start today to prepare your defense should we need it. And if we decide to go with your version of the truth, then we'll need to realign the public's perception of Amy. He. God, he was good. Is great. Great. Yes. Holy shit. Yes. I mean, like, I am not a Tyler Perry guy. I'm mad that he's not if, doing if roles I, like if this. I, I think he's kind of handsome if I, too, personally. I guess, yeah, he's, okay, guys, yeah, come handsome. on. Everybody, stop. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, like, Focus, you, you see Tyler Perry presents, and you're like, I'm not going to think that's funny, nope. and blah, blah, blah. No, they're all funny. They they're are. not. They're not. But <laughs> he is so good. So good. He, I mean, it's mesmerizing. Like, he, I, I'm watching him, and I'm, I believe it. I really do. I believe he's in, he's in some something Patterson book um, movie. Oh James yeah, yeah, yeah. Patterson? I um, something something. Yes, the Alex Cross book. I, I Alex yeah. Cross, right? Amy. But I don't know if I watched that or not. But he was in that. But anyway, so I think he's great. He I completely is agree with you. So great in this. Why doesn't he do more a, of these? He's the protagonist in that. He's like I. The and, whole... You know what? I have my answer. I already know why. All right. Why? Because he doesn't have to. It's not because he doesn't have to. I think it's because he doesn't have to. <laughs> oh, she already said <laughs> that. No, no, but no, seriously. I think it's because he built his own studios in Atlanta. He does his own movies, and Hollywood's like, fuck you. And so it's it's probably harder to get movies. Yeah, I don't know. You're, I think the, he's just a busy dude. I mean, there's like. You're getting into some shit. He puts out like two movies a year that make Your mom a fuck ton of money. Right. Like, so he does. Uh, All right, he, I have a question, though. 
God. So after the scene, he goes and talks to the guy that was falsely accused yeah. for rape or whatever. What do we feel about false, false accusations like this? Like, women can go and say, he raped me. He, the guy goes on trial. He's basically a rapist from that point on. And so yeah. even, if, even if she later goes, all right, he didn't really rape me. Nothing happens. Nothing happens to her. I Shouldn't feel- something happen to her? Yes, absolutely. If somebody Shouldn't lies, she get the they same one hundred percent. I do agree. Punishment that he would have gotten. I do agree, but okay. I think that it probably was her parents' money, and she had a big. I'm high just saying. Power it, I'm saying in real life. Yeah. In real life, if you accuse a guy of rape, there should and be a that list didn't for that. happen for real, and you go, "Oh well, it didn't really happen." But in real she life, she should serve the time that he would have yeah, served. But also, if in real life. If you accuse a guy of rape and it did happen, they should serve some time, and that shit doesn't happen very often. Agreed, but not often at all. Actually, that happens more often than the wrongly accused ones. Like it's total statistics. Mm -hmm. There's not. That is actually. It's not handled either way. Also, also, I don't know what that has to do with this movie. That because he went back to the ex that like that she accused of raping him, and he's like on the sex offender list, and he didn't do any of that. Remember, he went and had the meeting with him. He said that she like tied herself up, and she goes, he goes with the ties. He goes, I saw her on the news, and I thought if she could fake rape, then of course she could fake murder. That is right. Now, did he? Was it him that she? Oh, yeah, the The other guy, guy, the other guy. Yeah, the one the parents go. Something happened. I don't know what. It was just really bad. Right. Right. Yeah. It was assault or whatever. Okay, I bet I bet he mooned her. I, I <laughs> you can't do that anymore. You can't do it. No, mm-hmm. I bet he mooned her and he got a sex offender. Where <laughs> is the money, sweetheart? Look under her dress. He talked you into this? I talked him into it. The second you leave, I'm calling the cops. Your glasses are fake. Your hair's dyed all hamster. Hamster. You say her name's Nancy, but you don't even answer to it half the time. You're hiding, I don't know why, and I don't really care. But you ain't gonna call the cops. I don't think you've ever really been hit before. No! Oh! 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 Holy shit. Sorry, but we really need the money. Next place, be more careful, okay? There are a lot of people out there a lot worse than we are. You hamster haired bitch. Yeah, yeah, you know, for Again, me, I perfect just, casting. Why wouldn't I just fight for my life there? Y- you know who that girl is? I don't know who the hamster... girl is. The guy was on Narcos, though. Hamster girl. Okay, so her sister is the British girl in HBO's Girls. H- with the long oh. blonde hair that is kind of the promiscuous like, I don't watch it drug because, addict. Uh, because I don't that's like her that. sister. So she had gotten paranoid about them coming in after they found her money for like at least a full 24 hour period. Why not at least like split it up and put it in different places? You know or what I mean? Like put, put it in some your car. under your car, yeah. under the seat, put some in a drawer, put some under the, like if they come in and they like, okay, they find 500 bucks, they're getting the fuck out of there. Rule number one. A fight club. When laying low because you're framing someone for murder, <laughs> don't make friends. Ever. And have them come over and watch news with you. Just be a real bitch. But do spit in their Mountain Dew when they... Yeah. (laughs) Also, I thought she played it perfectly except for wearing the money belt. Yeah. That comes off during miniature Miniature golf. golf. (laughs) Which nobody wants to ever play. No, it's the worst. Me and Gary take our boys to that. Sometimes, like, we'll... we'll, Okay, so we'll go to main event. Is that what you talked talked about on your... Okay, so we we go to main event order. And it's like unlimited anything you play. And it's like... May, like part of it is like the uh, you have to sign up for this thing that you climb around on the rocks and you have to right. sign up for a laser track. Miniature golf you is climb like around just on the ropes at the top. Please, for the love of God, get them in there to do that because no one gives a shit about miniature golf. You know, so they'll go in there and they'll be like, "Oh my God, okay, here's hole one." All right, here. Then by by hole three, they're hitting it as hard as they can. Okay, this is hilarious. Yeah, by this hole is hilarious four, because Mike and Sarah are like in a league. Yeah. <laughs> by hole four, by hole four, they're they're I no, they don't give shit. Then they're know. running to like, <laughs> here's the one with the so rock hard. or whatever. And like three, we're we're really in cool. there oh, a nope, solid there. fucking seven minutes. <laughs> seven minutes later, they're like, and hole eighteen, when you hit it in there. The ball doesn't come back. I'm like, well, yes, it does. Here, we turn it in. Yeah, I don't. Back in the day, you didn't have to do that. 
She acted like they had, like, I literally just would have been a bitch and just walked right by her the second she said hi. Right. End of story. I like, was thinking the same thing. Why yep. even Why even engage with this fucking weirdo next to so, like, you? Later. Yeah. You should have kept moving. Agreed. Bark at her. Like, make them never want to talk to you again. Bark like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? You're ugly. I'm out. Yeah, what's the point? Yeah, there was no point in doing that. Why do you need friends? Except to lose money so that she had to call someone. Yeah, yeah I'm going to yeah. defend the All part of the crack. rising was it, what, was it different in the book or anything? Why, no, would, you, what, why would you fight and scratch and fight and scratch? And it's it's no, a shitload no, no, of money. No, no. That's why? Not, that's not how they teach you to do that in like women's self-defense in, shit. In, in that preparatory. situation. That like, guy's in the DEA. Who is? That guy. Which guy? I'm sorry, that was a different show. <laughs> He's Jesus a narcos. <laughs> Last week, it was a buzz. I threatened to leave, and he said he'd find me and he'd kill me. So I disappeared. I lost the baby. I couldn't even tell my parents. I'm so ashamed and I'm so afraid. Well, he is looking for you. He showed up on my doorstep three days ago. He tracked me from my letters to you. You saved them. Knowing you were out there was the only thing that's kept me going these past few years. Let's go to the police. You can explain no, everything. No, I can't turn up now. I'd be a pariah. She's Everyone got cotton in me. her cheeks. <laughs> for real? Is it wrong to want Nick to go to prison? He should go to prison for what he's done. I'm setting you up at my lake house. It's utterly secluded. Yes, please. Why are you so good to me? Excuse me. You know why. This is me in every relationship. It's Barney yeah. from like How I Met Your Mother. I can't not see that. That's why I didn't want to see his penis. It's weird. All I want in my life. I is thought he to, killed it though. I'm gonna be honest. Like all I want in my existence, and like I have, man, I've done everything. Uh, man, I've seen the world. I got some kids. I have a wife that loves me. I got a bunch of gold records and shit. All I want is to be set up in that guy's lake Lake house. house. <laughs> yes. With the heat and floors. That is and it. The, That's all the I want. The floors in the bathroom. Holy shit. I don't, as, as he's going on the tour, I'm like, okay, there, there's another 15 things I can say goodbye to. All right, keep going. You You'd know? be his concubine there, right? I mean, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Would, you wear, would you wear the outfit? Yeah. Here's the thing. I, wait, what outfit? I have to wear that. Oh, wait, what? He, had him, he bought her the clothes, like the white. Oh, I have to wear all that shit? Laundry and I don't shit. know if I would or not. He would. He'd be so much happier if it was you. Would, <laughs> That's true. And let's be let's be honest. Everybody wants to see me in that, right? I'd do it. Fuck it. Yeah, sure. Casey, Fucking is this not me? This guy? Internet. Who? I'm not Neil Patrick Harris. The what? creepy stalker? No, the other part of his personality. <laughs> The oh, you're in trouble. Stalk- Let me help you. No, that's true. But you'd also, but I don't think you have that weird, like, also, I'm a creepy stalker and you're never allowed to leave. No, and give me that tapioca. No. Yeah, and yeah I would let them have three or four. But I couldn't see you being like, but there is a gym around the corner if you fucking need it. I mean, if they need it. And you're like, here, wear my ex wife <laughs> number twos robe for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. No. oh yeah. no, you have yeah. no idea. The ex wife number twos robe. Holy shit, we can't even talk about that. We She's have talked did. about it. Yeah. We talked about she it before know you about it. Oh, no, she does. Oh, my God. It, hangs on, it hangs on the door when he masturbates. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought like, it was earlier. a coincidence. It's a whole thing. Man, I don't know which one I'd be more proud of. In his hand. Oh, man. Yeah, I masturbate in it now. Not uh, wait, like you still wearing have it? it. You have the sex robe, or just holding it? No, but is it like yeah, in the pocket? The she, you have the sex robe. She left it. Get she rid didn't. of it. Yes, you are real Neil Patrick Harris. <laughs> Get rid of it. <laughs> is that the robe you asked me to wear? That no, oh. stop it, stop <laughs> it, stop it. You're married. The night wait you made me watch Simpson? La La Land. Oh no. uh, my god! Stop it. Oh boy, here we go. I knew it. I fucking knew it. There's nothing he, to know. He made me no. I I made him watch um, the Greatest Showman, and yeah. then he very low key made me watch La La Land. Because well, I, I we watched gonna, it on the plane. I thought and we were I was gonna drunk. watch just the Did like I watch that one with you? the beginning of it, and then it just lingered. So. It lingered. Oh, yeah, it was. Shit. It was a. It was, well, it was an Ryan interesting Gosling, movie. so I mean, I got, he, he created movie. jazz. I mean, am I not gonna? Watch I got that? full on tricks. I uh, I was told. My wife said, uh, yeah, so the Pitzingers want to go out and see a movie. So I'm like, I think you posted about this or something. Yeah, I think this will be great. (laughs) Let's go see a movie together. (laughs) 
So we got there. At, and but you, know, you go to musicals yeah, and you cry. Guys, give me a second to right. tell the fucking story. <laughs> So we go in, and it's like, okay, we're going to the movie. And, like, everybody has their own shit that they mm-hmm. do. Like, some people get popcorn. Some people get nachos. Right. Some people get chicken fingers. Some people get milk duds. Uh, <laughs> some people so get raisins. That was very specific, Jared. <laughs> well, I get milk duds. Okay. I get milk duds, too. We don't, like, get one and share it. Like, we both get milk duds. I get raisins. P.S. I've been off sodas for almost two months, and I don't get that anymore. Right. You so, drink a soda today. <laughs> God damn it, Jarrett. <laughs> well, so what's she supposed to do? Lie? What? Lie by omission. I asked for a small soda today because <laughs> I wasn't feeling well. He's sick. What does that got to do with oh, not feeling? Sick. Wait, 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 wait. He That's wanted not... the bubbles because his throat hurt. And I, and was my... it a Sprite? Th- so, so get a soda. I no, no, you got I... a Coke. I, I wanted a Sprite, so I got a Diet Coke. So he asked for a Coke. He got a bubbly drink. Oh, I right. get it. So he got that right. right. anyway, I don't know why that has anything to do with feeling better, but yeah, go ahead. The whole thing. It's like, uh, so, uh, then you've obviously never had Diet Dr. Pepper. That's what it was. It really was. It yeah. makes <laughs> everything better. Exactly. Thank you. Ew. Thank you, Shannon. See, I have that and my life. Man. God damn it. Well, Jesus. I'm going to go sit in my lap. All right. So I... Uh, we go to this movie anyway. Jesus Christ, this this is fucking this is going too long. I just think we're going to like some goddamn. I honestly think we're gonna see fucking The Hangover. You know, <laughs> really? And we you sit thought down. This would be The Hangover. I didn't know. Okay. And I sit down, and the guy just comes out. And he's like, he, first thing, you- <laughs> <laughs> and he's like and in he's the dark behind the behind the the stage thing. And right? I keep thinking. Oh man, I know. I didn't know either. Actually, it's to gonna be, fair. be some sort of parody or something. <laughs> and and, <laughs> and, and just, we keep waiting. For there's the a lot of, and it they, doesn't happen for a long time. Does, there's I mean, a like, lot of goddamn for, singing. For like, Twenty fucking yeah, minutes yeah. into the movie, and they're still singing. Right. Ugh. It was and, pretty much the hills are alive. Like, and, it was like what the ugh. fuck? It just never I'm like, ends. The first song I'm was like, so long. Holy shit. This is all this movie's gonna be. They're just gonna sing a bunch. And it wasn't a terrible That's movie. I like I, I didn't hate the movie. To be honest, I actually thought oh, the movie was great. I did, but I it can't, wasn't Grace. I, no, it's not I Grace. That it's this not girl Grace. that uh, plays uh, or Grace too. If you're who's the girl that like flies that around shit. with uh, Zach Galifianakis or whatever? The Zendaya. Thing. Zendaya. The, she's this horrible. Zend- oh my god, she's so pretty. Mm-mm. Oh, she no. is really nice. No, no, no. She is really nice. What? Yeah. She's a real nice lady. Who did, did you say she's dating? No, I said she flew around with Zach Galifianakis and the whole thing. Because she's a trapeze artist. No, like he's saying Zach Galifianakis, but he means Zach, Zach Efron. Efron. Yeah. I was like, it's comedy. What? Did you say Gal- hang, hang with us. Oh my god! I was like, I cannot imagine him. <laughs> I was like, as a that was a, a wait, great why, choreographed scene. Wait, why would Zach Galifianakis not be able to fly around? Why don't you? I just can't imagine it. Oh, he would, and it that would seemed, be very entertaining. That seemed heaviest. It sounds very hairy. <laughs> 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 And jiggly. So now that you guys are you guys are establishing a type, I get it. Mm, yeah. That's fine. A so hair you type. got you Leaves guys are, out of it. You guys are both blonde. You got glasses, and you hate Zach Galifianakis. No, I think no, he's hilarious. Tra- no, no, you think he's fat. You say I'm he's, he's hairy. I'm no, you he's, just said he's too Zendaya fat to be is, on what you a trapeze artist. With, he's. I thought when you said flying around with Zendaya that. I pictured a plane like they were uh, lovers. I pictured a very... I didn't know we were... And that, and that seemed unfeasible for him to be able to fly in a plane because he's too heavy? Well, there's I the, get it. There's the age difference, too, unless she was the baby that he carried around. And How old over. is Zac Efron? That guy's got to be 35 now. It's at least 37. He's... Is he? Is he? He was in High School Musical 20 years ago. Not going to talk to me like that in my bar. <laughs> Clip. <laughs> I was this average guy from an average place with mediocre aspirations. I met a woman who dazzled me, and I wanted her to love me. <laughs> I love so how I pretended the sister to looks be at better it. than I was. And when we got married, oh. I promised to be that guy. That guy who works harder. That guy who, who lives and acts and loves with as much passion He's as she does. He's disgusted. But I failed her. Instead of doing what was right, I did what was easy. 
You talk like a man who believes he can make amends to his wife. He believes his wife is still alive. She is still alive. Will you look at that camera for me? Does she age? Will you Ugh, no. look See, at her? She like yeah. deal with the and devil. Talk to your wife. I thought the same thing. If she is out there, able to hear and Celia see you Warden. tonight, what would you like to say to her? Yeah, nice? screw her. <sighs> I love you. You're the best person I've ever known. And I've taken myself to the woodshed for the way that I treated you. And if you come back, I promise I will spend every day making it up to you. I will be the man that I promised you I would be. <laughs> He's like, what am I supposed to do? The sugar. I love you. She yeah. is amazing in this scene watching him on the TV. Agreed. God. So amazing. So no, great. Like He's playing nothing. the She's game with her, and, and yes, she likes it. And yes, Celia Ward is fucking insanely she looks, hot. She looks exactly the same as she did when she was in that show Sisters. Do you remember yes. that way back yep, yep, when? Yep, 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 yep. She's insanely hot. She could do meth porn, and I'd be all into it. Same. Right. Same. I don't even was know that what for that me? is. But... That was for me. You gotta listen to more shows. Yeah, I, I fucking would love, as long as there's some hair. But, like, all of that would be great. Uh, I think... <laughs> so weird. <laughs> what? I mean, that seems great, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> agreed. I mean, I thought this whole scene was... There's no way Celia Ward shaves her bush. She's got a full <laughs> bush. You're in Big good hands, bush. Jared. All right? I'm You're fine. <laughs> I'm in good hands with Celia Ward. Okay, yeah. was this the one where she, like, sees him cheating or whatever? No, no Celia that... Ward is the interviewer chick. I. <laughs> it's this is the interview scene. We were I thought, just saying. I thought it was very interesting though how he says like I've done all this bad stuff, but if you come back, I could do this and yada yada yada. It was like he knew she wasn't dead. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That because point, he at didn't that kill her. He already knew. He, she, he had already found the woodshed. Well, he knew she wasn't dead because he didn't kill her. No, he already found the woodshed and the thing, and they and were like, she stockpiled like, all the he stuff. Knew, he knew it was a setup. Yeah, that little beating puppet. What was that? What's wrong, Jared? Did I burst no, your No, no, I'm listening. Oh. I'm listening. So they didn't just do the scene where like she saw him outside of the bar with that girl. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Uh, did, I think that may have happened. Yeah, yeah, because she told... I think that was she the told, moment... Uh, when she decided to yes. screw him over, oh, she was yeah. going See, for the yeah, jugular. They, uh, and yeah, because he, 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 did was, that, he did the move. And, and not rightly so, but rightly so. Right. No, he was with her for he over did the a sugar year. lips on yeah. her. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Everybody recycles a move every once in a while, right? Yeah, but still he's cheating on her. But not while you're married to your wife. <laughs> exactly. Like, thank like, you. Not yeah. while you're still married. Yeah. You uh, but you. everyone does recycle a move every once in a while. Like, to be fair, I can like, tell this joke again because nobody's heard it in ten years, and I know it's going to be a fucking good one. Yeah. You know, also, like, to be fair, like we, swirl I recycle the... all the moves. Are you kidding me? Like I'm, I'm like I'm 46. I got like this is how many. All I'm... you can do is recycle moves. You're not going to learn any new ones. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I haven't. Here's how many I have in my holster. I haven't had. I'm going to present these to you, <laughs> and like and like every once like, five a year, and, we're going to act like they're new. Yeah. And guess what? Like sometimes I'm going to forget about one and be like, oh shit. I forgot about this way and like pow and you're gonna be like jesus christ that was amazing i haven't had a chance to recycle this move oh no but what was the move that i gave you do you remember Whoa. this i you're Which not one? Well, no Which one? no um <laughs> no penalty for you not remembering was it the bar one but it, what, what was the line that i gave you that were like oh shit no we talked about this do you, i know oh, maybe this. you know but no, she may not remember. On the breakup it's... podcast. Mm, maybe. What's Rich's deal? No, you did a thing. Y'all met at a bar, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, no. But that's. No, no, no. It was. That, that wasn't. What did it, I think. What I think did it for you was when I said, there's no rush. We have plenty of time. Uh, now I'm starting to. No, it was. <laughs> I just wrote a song for you. That's. Uh, well, that's. Uh, anytime a guy's ever said, I just oh, wrote a song God. for you, I'm like. Oh, my God. Nope. <laughs> And then he serenaded me outside of my I, but I my balcony it. on the first floor. <laughs> That's the worst so you were thing like level, heard. you were like level with her. Outside I had to of a probably gate. like stand on a chair to see him. So. Why would you do that? It no, was cute because I no, that was cute. I get it. Because I was an idiot back then. 
That's why. An idiot was, in love. I, yeah. I was, Hold on. I, I had was. a boy sit outside of my house and sing me songs after I dumped him one time. And my mom had to go out there okay. and be like, get the fuck out of here, kid. Yeah. You're not John Samos. Get so the fuck out. It was not romantic. Casey, nobody gives a shit about that guy. Yes. Secondly, uh, so what I year, washed all your Tia's shirts and what ironed year, them. What year would did. that have been? Oh, because you were working at Tia's. Yeah, it was. 1991. Did we find the Tia's? Did we, is it in yeah, Florida? Yeah, there's one in Florida. The, it's Tia's Tex Max, but I wonder if it's the same or not. You'll have to look at the menu. The Tell me pizza the cones are there. The Tia's is there. We got to move all to right, Florida. Okay, listen to me. Right. So this is what you, women do. You had fallen in love, and you. what did you do? You went outside her window. Well, not her window. My my patio and my patio apartment. and her first floor. Yeah. All right, and then what? You I don't threw know. I just rock. you came out. I like a, you threw a rock out there. Or no, the, I think we just told you to come out. Was there even a boombox? Like what? No no no. no, 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 no. I had my best friend who His, played guitar. Yeah, you had and a so friend he, with you. Yeah, yes. he was playing the guitar of the yeah. song that I wrote, and okay. then I sang it to her. Let's yeah. hear the song. No. Oh no, you did it! You did it you last won, time. Listen to me. You one hundred percent until no. the end of time. Yeah, yes, you did it. Let's hear it right now. You are the deep blue water of my sea of love. Aww. You are the burning fire of my desire. Of my desire, I just can't get enough. I like it. Yeah, was going. there a synthesizer anywhere? Like, oh, how yes. do you wait? Big time. Yeah. Wait, and, and then time. hold on. Would this go in from like him singing this to you, from him doing this in his band, and you go like watch the show? Oh yeah, show? right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was the band Evergreen Love or something? No, <laughs> for Eclipse. Green Love. It was East of Eden. East of Eden. Eclipse the Love or some shit. Yeah. Or it was that. Red Stick before that. Well, we were doing a naming party and it and the it naming party it, right red stick was in there and then now but then that there. reminded him too much of a red dog's dick red <sighs> crayon <laughs> oh that's weird man shit just got weird <laughs> you didn't tie that thing? all right <laughs> Clip. <laughs> John's typing something funny. Oh boy. Baton Rouge. No. Oh. Clip. Yeah, that was interesting. What was happening there? Uh, I'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> Mouth stuff. <sighs> Belly button stuff. For the audio listeners, they're having sex. time last night rewatching it Jared, like- what were you thinking at this point in the movie tell me what you were thinking well at this point i'd figured out what was going on <laughs> yeah but you figured out that she was gonna kill <laughs> him last scene did this not shock the fuck out of you yeah this was the most shocking scene in fi- cinematic history I yeah think. once she did that thing where she dipped her nightgown in that wine and went and like found that camera and was right, screaming right, right, i was right. like and and when she is hurting herself with the bottle in right. the bathroom like oh yeah, that so was he awkward. didn't get what she was doing. Uh, it it was she was hurting herself. Jarrett. Oh, yeah, she had done the thing where she faked blood. Yeah, but she was like putting it inside of herself. She was and, making like, it to where it, so that it like, looked like there was like she like was, it like, was raped. Yeah. By the way, yeah. this is the worst sex ever. It's because it's it's Neil Patrick Harris's little butt. It's so cute, but little, like, no, baby it's butt. because. After the sex is over, he gets his throat slit. And, Terrible sex. But, yeah, that's what a bad was, one. I know. Like, what I... Because you, cause what you want is like that Michael Hutchins shit. I think she's doing the whole fuck, asphyxiation no, thing completely that, wrong. Exactly. I don't want, think she's doing it you right. You want like that Michael Hutchins shit where they yeah. just choke you out. You're yeah. about right. to come to and then 
I don't think she about, understands how that? asphyxiation works. But I it just, was beyond that. Like, I watching said, it last okay, night. He said, cut off my air path. All right, let me just. I, watching, <laughs> it, watching it again last night, I and I've seen this movie several times. I never noticed that she kept grinding on yeah, him after he was well, she's dead to, like, and dying. Get all of it she in had there. to get all the semen in there. So. Ugh. Not that it's not weird. It's like the time where um, there was one time. Is this a personal story? No, actually, no. This is actually. Um, uh, uh, So a uh, there was a um, a a naval ship that went down, and they had to send these laugh rafts out, and they had to get all the seamen into the boats. (laughs) And (laughs) she. And then Rich said, "Okay, here's the thing. One hundred percent. I missed the seamen in my butt." God damn it, Sean. All right. I love that. Here's the, all right. Let's get real for just a second. Has anyone done the asphyxiation thing in real life? Absolutely not. No. That's too scary. That is. Okay. Uh, now. Wait. Hold on. Let everybody answer for Christ. I thought sake. everyone did. So. I've never done that. I've had somebody try that, and yep. I was just like, second the up. fuck? Yep, like, yep, yep. What do you mean they tried that on you? Yeah, yep. like people just fucking say. I on. had a boy I was just kissing one time that was just like, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? I with know, you? but like, a, a a person was inside you and started trying to choke you out. Totally had that happen. Yeah, it's Legit. like a thing. Yeah, I don't, tell the story. No, that's what he's asking. No, it's happened more than one time. That even if it was just like Whoa, not hold even on. sex, more than one time. <laughs> I think if you wear a lot of black, like guys just think that you like, want to be choked. <laughs> okay, and I, and I don't want to be choked. Like I have asthma. <laughs> I can't breathe anyway. Like I have an inhaler. I I totally second that. Like I'm sitting here going. Uh, You're wearing all black, by the way. Yeah. I, and I literally, well, and and she's, got like, I like she's got a baby. I just felt like she's got a baby in her. Just throwing that out there. So more than once, someone has been inside you. Oh, and like no, not looking... inside of me. Just in general, like just like as a foreplay, like like what the fuck, like like I can't like what the fuck. Nobody likes that. Oh my God. Not good. Rich likes now, it. No, I feel like if I did that to anybody that I'd ever met, ever, they think I they would, were dying. Well, I would get arrested. Yeah. If you did, <laughs> if, if you try to do that to me, I would probably laugh. I like, can't remember who, but I think I have done that before to someone that they that were asked into for it. it. I they, think oh, so. Yeah, I can't. See, it's it's been a while. See, when they don't ask for it, you're kind of like you're what like. The fuck I'm like, at what point to do? do I? Yeah, like, yeah. Tap I out? wouldn't do that with someone that didn't ask for it. <laughs> However, hey guys, I can attest. Hey, hold on, everybody. We can't say asking for it anymore on the podcast. Yes, so. you can, because sometimes you're nope, asking. Guys, for no one has ever asked for anything. What if they literally asked for it? Yeah. Doesn't matter. They request that- it. How about that? You can say request. Okay. They, they there requested. was a request yeah, you put use, in. You use hashtag Me Too movement for like a physical assault thing. That's totally different. What? Oh, like <laughs> earlier in this podcast. Yeah, yeah you totally like- did. Well, I just meant that she was what wearing I something whoa, that suggested whoa, that I should what do What did I do? No, I, I, but I think by, by the... A F I that the you were saying this murder. You were saying that someone verbally requested for you to choke them. No, I was saying she was wearing something. Oh, oh. so you really are. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You she had a slip on like, oh. so I said fuck it. No, like, I'm kidding. No. So anyway, anyway. Um, and you were like so okay. can I, I just I would just like to attest to the fact that orgasms are much better. If you when, don't die it, while you're when, having when it. you are deprived of oxygen, but like what? I feel like if it's not coming out of your mouth, like it's just gonna come out of your butt. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> then you just fart. Doesn't it up. that cause you to lose I'm brain gonna, cells? I'm gonna though? be completely honest. I've never come out of my mouth or my butt. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, no, 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 you've don't never, leave, don't, you've don't, never you dare. don't you dare. I'm not done. Or so, started. I. <laughs> when you masturbate, do you not hold your breath? Oh. Uh, Me? Yeah. You. No. No. I, I mean, I, I, it is. Yeah, but exactly. Like, shouldn't you just do that on your own? Like, why do you need somebody being like? like I, 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 don't I don't disagree like... with you. I don't disagree with you. I always hold my breath, and this is a, not as because I, I never like did I'm that get... back in, in in our day. I feel like I'm getting crazy when I yourself. like. I hold my breath the second that I feel that it's starting to happen. Yeah. I hold my breath and I don't breathe until it's. Well over. Are your parents listening tonight? No, they're not. Listening Are your tonight. children listening tonight? No, Definitely not. not. Okay. And it, way, is, it is much better. 
It is much better. (laughs) Do your children give two shits about you? No. (laughs) No, No. they do not. No. 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 All right. Christian does. Maybe. Yeah, I had a He's working at Angelina's tonight. I had a weirdo boy invite me to his house. A boy that, like, I had actually been friends with for, like, years, right? And we'd always been kind of, like, flirty, but we were always, like, dating other people, like, type of thing. So the timing, like, worked out, and he had invited me over to his house to hang out. And I was like, that sounds, like, awesome. Like, we're finally going to hang out. I get there, and it's, like, almost like he had been, like, talking about, like, his roommates. Like, one of those things. He fucking still totally lived with his parents. Uh, And it was, like, his childhood bedroom. And it it was, uh, like, one of the... It was the fucking weirdest, like, ever thing. And he was one of, like... So, like, trying to start this business. Like, you know, like that type of guy. And I'm like, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. Like, we can't even, like, sit in his living room or, like, in right. his... So, he was one of those people that, like, literally, like, kissed me and then, like, <laughs> like right? And I was just like, what the fuck like, are you doing? after the kiss? That doesn't yes. even make sense. Hold on. In his parents' bedroom was, like, shared a wall with him and they were, like, asleep. It was I like, don't think you did understand they collect how it taxidermy? Did you, did you wake up on the couch and his dad was reading the, uh... No, that was your house. <laughs> But I, did, <laughs> but I did go, I was like, I went to the bathroom and then I fucking be, like just left. Yeah, I don't think I got you my understand shit, that's I how got it works. Like, I got like a. That's not how it works. Hey, you cool? And yeah, I was just like. It's not really supposed up. to be foreplay. It's that's oddly not, enough, that's not how of, any of this works. Oddly enough, as she was on her way out the door, the uh, dad had the kid in the chokehold and the mom was just begging her to stay. <laughs> and I was like, oh, mm, that makes sense. sense. Yeah, <laughs> ding. But that was a weird one. Like, what already ding. You're a murderer. I'm a fighter. I fought. My I like that angle, Bob. You killed a guy. You slashed his throat with a box cut. You went on national television and begged for me to save your life, and I obliged. But I want that man. I'm leaving. You really think that's smart. Shampoo. Thank you. Wounded, great wife battles her way back to her husband and he deserts her. They'll destroy you. Neighbors will shun you. And I'll make sure that no one forgets the pain you caused me. I don't want anything to do with your groupies outside. Once they go, I don't. Give it the night. Sleep on it. To be 100% honest, I'm in. Fuck it. I'm in. I'm back he, in. Like, we, we, he's we, an idiot. Now we have a book deal. He, we, no, we're gonna he's do, an idiot. Listen he, to me. We have a movie. All this stuff. She like, you were missing. Yeah, I don't give a shit. We, like, that we, we now bad. will Jared, make all of the money. He's an idiot. He, he has the figure. upper hand here. He, he can get, he could, I want blowjobs, I want anal, I want rusty trombones. I have a weird feeling like, she's in all He could get anything point. from At her. At what point am I wrong here? That, I'm agreeing with you. He's go, yeah, he's she was going to drown that. herself in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm sure she's down for whatever. But, <laughs> but it, was, it wasn't about that for him. What, the rusty trombones? I don't even know what that is. Jesus. <laughs> Rusty Shannon. trombones is like when Shannon. Can you, wait, tell me off. Shannon line. with the book, uh, for Christ's sake. Jesus. It's who what the whole sh- movie is whole based entire. on. It's, know, but it's, who gives a shit? Oh Everybody my God. watching this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> he could have anything. He, right he, now. he yeah. because there's a whole story about his dad that was just a snippet. You know his his dad is is ill. He's he's got right. dementia. His his dad was a cheater. His mom died. His mom died. Like family is super important to him. He has a twin sister. That's all he has. And then he has this wife, and he wanted a family with her. He wanted to create a family with her that he wanted as a child for himself. Right. And so now he has her back, but it's sick and twisted. And then all of a sudden, and I don't know if you're gonna play this, but you know, then the whole pregnancy issue comes up that's next clip yeah okay so i'll wait on that because because this the book ends differently than the movie does oh uh, when we're done make sure we know how the book ends yeah i want a paternity test i love tests amy you can teach those people to hate (laughs) me all you want i don't care i am leaving you i won't have to teach your child to hate you He'll do that all by himself. Oh, God. I'm the cunt you married. 
good shit. The only time you liked yourself was when you were trying to be someone this cut my mic. Oh. I'm not a quitter. I'm sold. I'm not a quitter. <laughs> Agreed. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, he loves her at this point. I've killed for you. Who else can say that? You think you'd be happy with a nice Midwestern girl? No uh. way, baby. I'm it. Fuck. You're delusional. I mean, you're insane. Why would you even want this? Yes, I loved you. And then all we did was resent each other and try to control each other. And cause each other pain. That's marriage. Mm-hmm. Jared. Yeah. I'm in. You like, brought this I'm up in. at the very beginning 100%. of the of the show. Sold all the way. And I thought I was going to be the only one that was extremely turned on by this. Oh no. Okay, get yeah. this one. I the the fact that Crazy she hot, is so it, is hot. dedicated to him. Yeah. Yeah. And to this marriage. Yeah. Turns she, me on. Like I would wasn't. kill for someone. That would kill for me. <laughs> it's like at this point, okay, I'm gonna get you some fucking at, like. We need you on a different website, like one of those like prison dating websites. At this point, it'd be like you know. I what? mean, it's like, ludicrous. Like, it, it's Casey, I, 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 rich. It's at ludicrous. At this point, you would be like, you know what? You're you've been right the whole time. Fuck that guy died. Holy shit. Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's fucking do this. I mean, I, it, it, and I and I'm sorry that Shannon is here at this for me to say this, but. I I absolutely have a problem with the the whole I I've always been left like people leave me like I don't leave yeah. people they leave me yeah and that's a thing with me and it's, it's like uh, that girl on Tinder like the, the exactly like fucking it'll never the, work out the, she's it, gonna dump it, it's you. not gonna work out you she didn't start email being more of a dick man she didn't text me anytime no, today not. I'm <laughs> never getting texted ever again that's fine but but for her. To say this, it, it connected with me. I was like, "Wow, that's hot for someone well, they to have want a to be with." They have, yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess, Just but it's, to be it's like, like I'm the she's so you committed. Married. Like she's so committed, and, and hey, that kind of psycho. commitment. Yeah, I'm the cut you fell in love shit. with. That yeah, like yeah, exactly. She's just like that dirty shit. Like I don't know. Right I guess that kind of brings me back to the way me and him met. Like we were so mean to each other. Like the first, we laughed our asses off. But I made fun of him the entire night. I swear he was sold that first night just because I was picking on him all night. And everybody else was all like, eh, make that. <laughs> and I was like, I think that t shirt's really fucking gay. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> Men can wear v necks, by the right. way. Yeah, I, yeah sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not like selling sometimes. them to you, but I, I, ha I have sometimes a couple in my closet that I don't wear, sure. <laughs> Sorry, I mean, I'm a hairstylist, so I know lots of guys that have worn v-necks. <laughs> I, I, also, I also have another question. Is she carrying Neil Patrick Harris's baby? Ooh, good question. I thought about that, no. but I don't think so. But she finished. She made sure that he finished inside of her. But they made sure it was five weeks later whenever the pregnancy thing came up. And I think she did it after she came remember, home. Remember the letter? That but you think he's fucking her? Shannon he, no, read it's, it's not that. the book. Dude, Rem no. Okay, okay, remember the letter know, both like, that he talks about? He gets he, he gets a letter planet. saying that they were going to destroy his semen or whatever, and he oh, okay. wanted to he oh, wanted yeah, yeah, to go yeah. get so a baby. So she went and, and he got said, it. He said she, she threw, threw it away. in the trash, but she didn't. She didn't. So about she that. went back and got inseminated. That's the whole okay thing. from that. Okay, that's fine. But I mean, Genius. she did Genius. make a big deal about him coming first because before she wanted evidence that he was raping her. Yeah, they, they could see And that's why she her. killed Fair him. Fair enough. And they said, he said, I want a test and I want a paternity test. She goes, I love tests. Because she knew it was his baby. Okay, I fair enough. But it shit. it was very ambiguous. Because of all of the elapsed time ambiguity. that you can't really... There was ambiguity. You can't really duplicate Incubus. in the movie. Incubus is the band you're yeah. trying to think of. Yeah. Shannon, when you read a book and then, you, a and then you see the movie, <laughs> is it ever... <laughs> this one is the closest that I've ever... I mean, I, you know, I remember Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone was pretty, it was pretty close. <laughs> You're right. It was very close. Pretty close. I remember going to, I read The Firm because I was huge into John Grisham books and I stood in well, line. Well, that ending was terrible. I stood in line to go see that movie. We saw that together. And it, it was disappointing. It wasn't as good as the book. This movie was, I mean, if, if they had been able to make it four hours long and could have fit all the parts that they had to take, you know, but what they got in. And it's because Gillian Flynn 
got to be part of the screen. You feel play like team. you miss like some of the dialogue, some of the things, like some of the stuff. No, she's well, saying just it some was of good. the characterization. I understand, I understand they, what she's they saying. I'm gonna have a conversation with her. There's like, no huh? way to have gone as deep in that short of time. They they did hey, the you. best they could with the time that they had. Right. I man, I love this movie. I yeah. I love it. I thought you would. I thought I like that he didn't know until we were watching yeah. I said I said, Well it is kind of loosely based off the of Scott Peterson thing. He goes Wait, what? What is this movie about? That, that, that was as we were about to watch it. So I thought this was, was like, a chick flick. He thought it was like, yeah. I thought it was like Gone yeah. Girl. Like a Lifetime movie. <laughs> I really did. Yeah. I thought, Some, like, okay, women exploring Girl, the world and you're like, independently. You're like, I'm not funny here, when Harry met Sally. And then, uh, and then Sarah had said, oh, I'll do Gone Girl. You know, it's been like six weeks, two months before. I'm like... Wait a minute. Why does everybody love this movie so much? It was I'm pretty thinking, fucking awesome. I'm thinking, oh my god, it must take it must take place in a fast food restaurant. There's nothing more shocking <laughs> uh, than this fucking ending. It just And the other movie I said that I would do was Just Friends and they're both about crazy bitches. I just want to put that out there. We did we do right. Just Friends? No, no Just Friends in December. Yet. I'll okay. totally be there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Just Friends. <laughs> yes. Yes. We're doing we in December. We haven't done the formal invitation. Because it's a Christmas but... movie, yes. If you want. <laughs> I love that movie. But if it's you'd so like to good. have another crazy bitch. I'm there. Isn't yeah. that a song? Yeah, yeah a bad one. Not, no uh, offense about Jerry, who you played yeah, with recently. Really? Oh. <laughs> I could text him if you want. Hey, guys. Thank you so very much for listening to this. Man, I'm going to be honest. Oh, I thought we had another clip. I know. Oh, do we have another one? We do. Oh, go ahead. God damn it, Shannon. How'd you know that? Because it's the ending, remember? I said it was different. Got it. And. God damn it, Sean. Get it together. Just type it in. <laughs> We're going to be parents. Oh, my goodness. Oh, how exciting. Oh, cute. Did you see his face? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, anyone watching that show... What are you know. thinking? How are you <laughs> feeling? <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. What have we done to each other? What will we do? Shut up. Well, I have a good idea. <laughs> I think they should have shown the scene where his sister was crying, going, why are you doing this? Like, like I think that would have been a good clip, like... Because that relationship was really interesting. I mean, I don't know. he's killing people that he loves that know about this. Like, well, they did the whole. Oh, yeah. She she committed Love murder, it. talking to the the cops and the lawyer, and and they're like, nothing we can do. Sorry, dude, we're out. Like, I don't think that's a thing. Like, I think the cop would have kept following up, but I don't know, man. That fucking this movie, it was badass. It was great. Stop it. Great movie. Um, definitely thought that as we were stumbling into this one, I was just like, oh, a chick flick. Oh, my God. Like Rich you don't gonna... love those. What? Like you don't love chick flicks. No, I do <laughs> like those. I just don't think You would that... have been like, wee, a chick flick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wee. She's right. Ding. She <laughs> is right. <laughs> she really is right. Wee, this is the best movie ever. Wee. <laughs> 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 oh my god. So, how, all right, Shannon, how did it end in the book? Okay, and there may be some people listening. No, online fuck those who, people. It's just no, us now. No, I'm, I'm just saying because <laughs> I wanted us. to go back and reread it before this, but I had packed my, I'd boxed up my books and I couldn't find it. Um, but I recall that it ended, she, she'd actually had the baby and they were all together as a family and he was reflecting on. The decision that he made but what i got out of it was that he was just so grateful to have this child mm -hmm. and a chance to start over and huh. correct all the wrongs of his childhood and if you know his father towards right. him that it was worth it you wow. know that, that it was worth sticking through it, it was worth neil patrick harris's throat no, being, being, <laughs> being with her yeah while his dick is inside her yeah man. coming like no, ejaculating staying with her as wackadoo as she was that wackadoo. you know he knew he loved her at one point and he loved this baby because it was a part of them right. and i think he saw hope in it it hmm. you know it, it kind of left you going huh like you know and and then it's open-ended so 
every reader could say, well, I think they're going to have a happy ending and she's going to get her life together and they're going to re rekindle and then someone else is going, no, this is going to be like a disaster. And, you know, but, um, but yeah, so the, the movie, of course, doesn't show I totally that. get it. Like, she doesn't even have to be this hot. But knowing that she wants me this bad is... Is hot. But, you know, honestly... It, is. it and, really and is. You and I have talked about this since, you know, we've started being friends again. Right. And I love the part when she says, that's marriage. Right. And I certainly know from, you know, making the decision to you, leave... You learned... That, that, from, you know, it is marriage and, and you have right. seasons where it's all good and where it's all not good. And and really, you know, you can get past it. You just have to be get committed to and, doing and, it. And, and then so as we get into that conversation and as you like watch Rich just over there, just having a drink with his buddy Jarrett. Getting or trashed. Several. Yeah. You know, and then and you're over <laughs> there doing that thing. Like, and are you, do you... You freaking love that guy, right? I do. Absolutely. Yeah. Me too. She really me too. Did you do this? You don't love me that much. I... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I do love you. I mean, it's 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 weird. It's got to be weird. You have like 12 people living in your house. No, I have <laughs> me and my kids living and, at the house. Uh, Let's check the email box. Emailers. <laughs> at where it goes to movies. At gmail. gmail. I don't com. have it. I don't have it. I like that. It's a thing. It's a normal thing. No, I, I liked your version better. I never what do you mean you don't have it? Uh, the iPad's dead. Oh, it's dead. Okay. I just did it. I'll punch it in. I'll okay. fix it in post. Hello. I love you too, Shannon. I know. Love, love. All right. Hold on, guys. Mike, no, you're not just... allowed to love your ex-wife. We, we, we wrote my dad a song. <laughs> you remember when we wrote my dad that song? Yeah, yep. Comments on that. Yep. And he, we <laughs> daddy, gave it. Daddy, I, uh, well, it's called Daddy, I guess, but Daddy, I love you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We gave it to him for Father's Day and he cried. Mm hmm. Sweet. Well, Jesus Christ, that's the end it. of the podcast. Can you just sing it? Well, I don't remember. Sing it. No, I got it. Not you. Uh, thanks for sharing Woody Chambers, Ray Jimenez, oh, Joey Bishop, Simone, Simon, Simon Rogers, <laughs> Mitch Simone. Bergeron, Sean, however you want Simone. Sean Kennedy. That's you, dude. Are you okay? Hey, Sean. What me? Yeah, yeah you sick? Good. He's losing. He's fading. You're right. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to be girl on the You train. said I'm that to murdered. me too many times today. I'm about to stomp off. I didn't say that to you too you many. You told me I to didn't... shut yeah, the fuck up shut at shut least up, three Shannon, times. Like, no, that just means I you like. I think it means I like you. Yeah. Well, and then also, you haven't told me to shut the fuck up. Did I tell you lately that Sarah, shut the fuck up? I'm. I did tell you my love language is words of affirmation, right? Yeah, you're being a real dick. Oh, I didn't. Say no that. love. <laughs> I didn't Use the tell love you languages. That. Buy her a present. What's your love your language, life? Jared? Yeah. I have two. Uh, I bet you can't guess them. Gifts. Nope. No words of affirmation for mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but you're supposed touch to, and quality time. You're supposed touch. to love people the way that, that is one hundred percent accurate. No, yours is not is. quality time. Yours yes, is touch, it is. Words of affirmation, and it's not quality touch time. Touch and quality time. It is it's absolutely not, quality it's time. It's touch. No, it's his touch. is his. There's supposed to only be physical two. Physical touch. His and... is uh, words of affirmation and physical touch. Quality time is not one of them. You guys fucking curl up on the couch well, and spend all kinds of time. Well, if it's words of affirmation, then he's like telling me to shut the f up. What's that buzzing? Stop doing that. Not accurate. And uh, what else? Uh, Chris <laughs> Pulse. What did I leave off? Sean Kennedy, Jake Bradford, Chris Pulse, David Ryder, Nigel Watson, Austin, Mark Graf, Sweet Cheeks, Barry Ferguson, Stuart <laughs> May, Parson Carr, Justin McGill. Uh, hold on. <laughs> no, finish. I'm doing my best, dude. I know. That's the problem. <laughs> I almost made a mean joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I have edited all this white space out. Why? Because you're taking forever. That's yeah, a long one. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can, Just guys. Just read the He's fucking sick. list. Maybe you guys could do this next week. Okay. All right, cool. This is your job. No, because on. they're not going to pay for me reading them. They're paying for you reading Maybe them. they pay for you to sing it. Rich. R.J. Lane, no, Faye not. Stacey, Sean Umbeck, Angie Thorin, Jared Spear, Grant Hill, my favorite basketball player of all time, <laughs> Greg's Guide to the New Music, and Danny Stuckey, 
Here we go, guys. Wait, wait. Before you do that. <laughs> before seriously, I think the five love languages is completely like on to something. Agree. I think it's completely. I think it's important. Mine for is you. the three that use that for sure. His is not the last. I one. think it's important Here's... for you to know yours, and I think it's important for no. your partners to know theirs. All right, stop. Everything. I think it's more important for you to know your partners, and I think stop everything. Okay. Hold, hold everything. Stop okay. everything. Stop the presses. <laughs> yes, if you're oh, with what? someone and you're in a committed relationship and you don't know their their lang their love languages absolutely get to know their love languages okay if you're not with someone don't get with someone that is not your same love language oh no, God, it, no yes. it doesn't have to be the same no I, it no, doesn't just, have to be the you same you just can't use your own love languages exactly. right as somebody else's. so think if mine can't physical be touch and think, yours is like words of affirmation and i'm just like nah, and think you about tell you like how hard it is to deal with someone that doesn't love like you love. Though. I think. This, Why would you get into a relationship that doesn't love the same no, way you it, love? It doesn't mean I they think don't it, love that way. It means like they don't. They communicate because love. Because when the for me, person, gifts is a zero. A when the, zero. When I'm the, not going to yeah, get with gifts, someone who yep. gifts is number one. Yeah. Because it doesn't. It's not going to make sense to when you. The but when person, as gifts, but though, like, that's how I show love a lot of times. The, but that's not how I like to receive love. Okay, like, that's fine so, if that works for you. But yeah, then I, it might be more like acts of service. Like if you're doing yeah. another one. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> but that's the thing. Like he like his is not gifts, but at the same time, like a lot of the times, like some of our like biggest things are like the things that I've thought of and he loves that it's so thoughtful. Yeah. You know? Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. I so like but I, I would true. love that it's thoughtful too, but it just wouldn't mean as much as me hanging out and like curling up in a pretzel with you. But Boom. You might say, like, gifts isn't your thing, but you're the first one to say, if you need this, I'll help you with this. If you yeah. want to go well, here, Well, that's not I'll... the same thing. That's but... not the same thing at all. Well, it's like an act of but, service, I guess. But, it, but, like, gifts, I guess it's you, how people interpret. Are you saying interpret. I do that for people? You, you do. I know you do. I that like will, me. So he like wants to give you You gifts. offered to loan me money you offered I to did. give me a place yeah, to live you does. offered to take me places that's just because yeah, i'm even nice in my though. friendships like, i've always been a person that, like i'm like rich, i want to give people things that make them feel like i've I'm rich is 100 like at, 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 and i'm i'm not like actually to be honest i don't even like being around rich right <laughs> i i can no i can like, confirm that i really don't i mean like what well, we're so you we're love him though street. i can tell i love him so much but we're so opposite that like us being around one He doesn't another. like that he loves me. Yeah. But he loves it's, me. But it's that he is it's like the, that Tinder lady. He's the most giving person I've ever known in my life. Like he So that's your marriage. Gifts. Casey, that's it doesn't crazy. mean it has to be like, oh, give me a diamond. It's like like if I'm out at Target in the dollar yes. aisle and I see stuff I see like stationery shaped like donuts and there's a teacher that I work with that has a donut theme in her room. I'll pick some up, even if I'm not friends with her, see, because I would I'll never know, do that. that. See, I feel I'll like that's no, the, but what you I'm the would same do, way. Like, but what you would do is I'm if you were hold person, on, you know? guys, hold on. But what you would do is if you were like in a music store and you were walking past a thing where you and you knew like your friend he likes this kind of amps and you saw a shirt or whatever, you would buy that shirt. You would give. It. I would never do that in a million years. <laughs> You're right. You wouldn't do that. There's no way in hell I would do it. Yeah, if I know. I, the only way I would actually do any kind of monetary thing for anybody is if is is if I knew that they were in need, in serious need, and they would appreciate it. Right. So for that's me, it. Like for me, I'm going. I want like legitimately want to be like stuck to him all the time. I'm like, no, but so you wanted to go to the store by yourself you didn't want me to come with you that's fine whatever but like if i go right. to the store i'm, I'm like if he's not with me at the store then i want him to know that i was thinking of him at the store like i'm ridiculous that's me. like that that's me <laughs> yeah exactly so that's what i'm saying i'm that's how i'm big that's time I'm with quality kids. time touch <laughs> yeah. i i want to be in a pretzel right or we were always like touching feet so and shit in saying, the bed though, right? right like if you're at a store yeah you're thinking whoa, of that person. hold on y'all touch feet right huh we always touch feet in she the bed. She does not like feet. Don't touch all. feet. Well, my feet were always cold, so yes. Put socks on. But no, we always touch feet. I always get hot and then I take them off, too. so I keep What's a, that? a bunch of 
I'm socks joking, at the I have, foot like, of the bed. Super sweaty yeah. feet. Like, and then I, 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 I'm quality like time and, and I'm words Guys, of affirmation. Guys, we got to let Sean out of here. We got to let Sean, you got to go. Sean, yeah. you've been great. Well, he's just okay. Let's speak keep up, going. Sean. <laughs> yeah, he's like his eyes are rolling. My point head. is, go. if you know your five lo- love languages, find someone that matches. I think this no, is the biggest. That challenges you. I think no. I have no, never. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! In my this lifetime. is the biggest thing that that can make a, a relationship. What works. are your? Do you know what your love languages yes, are? Yes, absolutely. What's your number one? Uh, touch. Don't... Touch is eleven. Words of affirmation is six. Quality time is six. Um, uh, acts, acts of service is two. And gifts is zero. I don't give Rich, a fuck. Rich, can I say the meanest thing I've ever said to you sure, in my ahead. entire life? Yeah, it's probably not, but go ahead. You're the only one in this room that's single. So what's your point? Stop giving us love language advice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Was there not even a little bit of no, laughter there? No, hold on. on. I'm going to be honest about this. He's the only one in this sink, in this room that's single. And should be. Every, there, <laughs> there are other people in this room. That's hilarious. That might what Casey be said single. is fucking mean. Yeah, I was being mean. I said it was mean. And, and also, I broke up. I told you ahead of time. He thought that was, was fucking mean. hysterical. Thank you. What's he laughing at? What I mean? Oh, God damn it. All right. Oh. Sweet hearse rights. Oh. <laughs> Every time I hear you folks talk about spin doctors, I cringe a little bit. Because I have a secret. Email box, oh. Email us. oh, you got it working? Uh, Jesus Jared Christ. Goes to the movies at gmail.com. Sweet Hearst writes, or as Jarrett says, Sweet Hearst writes. Every time I hear you folks talk about the spin doctors, I, 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 cringe, a I, I cringe a little bit. Because I have a secret. One of my first guitar teachers was a dude who played for the spin dog. And that's the end of the story. I did. I I literally, we played a show. Uh, I think it's been like three weeks ago. Yep. And I, Idaho. It wasn't. I, no, who, it wasn't. Who's the ho? It wasn't. It was not Idaho. It was. We it played, absolutely I, was in Idaho. I know. You flew never, to Nebraska. Never know where you, you drove are. to Idaho, and then well, that's where the show was. And uh, right, yeah. And the whole it's day, us. the whole day was a nightmare. That's like, what I said. Spin doctors just made it so bad. And, <laughs> Wait, oh. Iowa's not near Nebraska. He flew to Nebraska. You kept saying Idaho. Right, that's near Nebraska. Near Iowa is home. not near Nebraska. Anyway, the point is, hey, is that, wait, wait, wait. Alabama, did did John Alaska, Gickler watch Arizona, you at this show? Arkansas. I did see John Gickler. He's it lives in Idaho. I ported him yes. out. He does. I don't know. I ported him out. Silent Sean is completely Iowa. wrong. Never Iowa. Have I no, Iowa. Iowa. No, it was, Iowa Idaho. No, Iowa is over by Idaho. Ohio. How did you fly to Nebraska and mm. drive to Iowa? Yeah, how the fuck did you do that, Jarrett? Yeah, Jarrett. Where were you? Where were you? I don't even and know what you. was her name? Wah, wah. Dun, dun. It's it's Idaho. <laughs> that's, so long. that's where John Gickler lives. My my best bit of the night was I just kept going. Are you guys super excited to see the spin doctors? And and, and a few people would be like, Yeah. Sure. And I'd go, <laughs> ba-dip, 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 ba-dip. And then, and then Gary started doing like the dr- the drums thing or whatever, and uh, <laughs> they had a new drummer that night. <laughs> it was a good bit. Iowa. No, you so can't drunk. fly in Nebraska and go to Iowa. Please agree with All yourself. right. And John what Gickler. Email box, email You're asking my husband on his Jared goes life. to the movies. It's, okay. It says John like, Gickler. Oh, it says on yeah. the internet that my husband's worth thirteen billion dollars because of all of his private <laughs> exactly. jets and yachts. And I've always wondered who the bitch is that's living that other life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just give me the boat. Like, I don't want All the plane. Right. Anyway. All right. Well, Case, I'm doing the best I can. Greg yes. Pascal writes, Hello, Jarrett, Rich, Casey, and JTM guests, fans, and listeners. Wow. This, by the way, this is a long one, so settle in. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to reach out to you all to let you know that Jarrett Goes to the Movies is a great has a great impact on those who listen. Jarrett? Thank you for sharing your issues with anxiety and depression so openly. I have dealt with those issues for a, for so long, and I still struggle with them on a day-to-day basis. 
I have been diagnosed with both clinical depression and anxiety. It's taken me several months and some alcohol to finally get the courage to email you all. Yep, I'm a little drunk at the moment and a little more courageous than I normally am right now, Jarrett. Uh, oh, Jarrett, you're a personal hero of mine and still continue to be. The times I've been lucky enough to meet you in Utah, not Idaho or Iowa, um, I've, been, I've always been impressed. They always say never meet your heroes, but every time I meet you or I've met you, uh, I've always felt so happy. Anyway, the podcast means so much to me. I look forward to it every Friday. I consider myself lucky and proud to help support the podcast each month, even if it's only $20 a month. Uh, by the way, we need to do a hangout. No, that's kick-ass. Thank you. Yeah, I wish I could do more. The, the dynamic of the show is great. Yes, I love hearing Rich on the show. And no, I'm not just saying that because he reads this. <laughs> Rich is pretty damn funny. I really enjoy him on the show. Casey Rich wrote is, this. <laughs> yeah, I, I added that part. Casey is fantastic and fucking adorable. Aww. I consider her the sniper of the show yeah. because she pops in with those quick and funny jokes. I absolutely adore her. By the Aww, way. thank you. Jarrett, thank you for pronouncing my name correctly. I am the Greg Pascal from the producer list. Is that That's how you pronounce it, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, it's very rare for my last name uh, is pronounced correctly. I am also the Greg from Greg's Guide to New Music uh, from the sharing list. It feels weird to try and promote it here, but once again, uh, I'm okay if you admit this. Anyway, um, anyway, uh, I host a podcast here in Utah, and I try to get the word out about music that might not otherwise get heard by the masses. I work in radio for over six years. I've, I've, I grew tired of radio not giving bands and musicians the opportunities opportunities they deserve. So I'm hoping to give listeners some exposure to some really cool bands and musicians they might not otherwise get to hear. Listen I, and not your girlfriends. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I hope they're fucking amazing. They I really hope are. you are all are well. I have um and having the success you deserve. If nothing else, just remember that you are all adored and respected by so many people. Not really not that many people. Like a few. I seriously love the ever-loving shit out of you all. My best wishes to you all and the listeners of Jericho's movies. Much love and respect. Cheers. Thank, Thank you so very much. Holy shit. I don't even know. Thank you. you I do. Play can some I, music over that. Yeah. Can I be insincere, like insensitive for a second? Not insincere, but ins, ins, insensitive well, yeah, for a minute. It's weird that you never ask usually. I know. I don't. <laughs> Whenever you're being the worst. If you are prone to depression, anxiety, and stuff, alcohol is a depressant. I was thinking the same thing. Don't drink alcohol. Yeah, but people know that, but it's, it's still like a struggle with people that do. I understand drink that. I'm just giving advice from a non physician viewpoint. You're not being insensitive. I don't You're know shit about ignorant. shit. All I know is that when my mom said, you know, when I told my mom in college that I was depressed, she said, Go and get a girlfriend. She said, go out there and exercise. And I did, and I felt better. Let's check the email right. box. Email us. Stop drinking. At exercise Sarah more. Goes to All right. Movies at gmail Tim Trafton writes, and he's new. I haven't heard him yet. Uh, your show is brilliant. Great job. I forget how I found the, your podcast, as I was most likely high as shit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Don't worry. It's legal here. I listen while at work, and I'm. By the way, don't get high at work. That's just not good. And well, I'm making. Where he works. I'm making my way through the episodes, and I am now up to <laughs> number eighty-four. Sleepers. That was a good one. I actually went and listened to that as I was. Which one was sleepers? Sleepers was the one where the boys got raped in prison, and you oh, weren't. The one I decided. You not decided to not to be a part of. I have. A hard I actually. Time with I that. watched the movie, and I was like, "Nope, not making any jokes about that one. You guys are on your own." <laughs> We That's why killed it on that episode. Like, I can't. All right. Anything with... no, there's plenty of jokes in Shawshank. All right. Not in sleepers. Like any... <laughs> it's taking a long a uh, long time to catch the frig up. Uh, I will, W-I will, become a Patreon supporter when I finally catch up. Uh, but for now, lots of good movies to get through. I have liked your Facebook page, Facebook page, uh, and will, W-I-L, share my, with my friends as they need to get in on this podcast too. 
it's going to kill him when he catches up to this episode and, and figures out the Will's not on the podcast I was just talking anymore. About, it made me so sad that all these like new things are coming out where it's just the three of us. Like, I miss him, man. I miss him, too. It's, it's just, not just the three of us, though. We have Sean 360. No, but the picture is the three of us. Oh, I see. And like they, they got rid of like Will's little character and yeah. like they. You mean me? No, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Who the fuck, I don't know what happens in this fucking podcast. I just show up and drink champagne. Well, All right, he has some notes. Okay, <sighs> notes. Sad. He he wanted to give us some notes about the podcast. So notes are: Rodden is not a name. It's possibly a dinosaur. Cool. BFS never comes to Maine? Question mark. Exclamation point. Uh, some, exactly. <laughs> Somehow you guys turned me on to Shit's Creek and I laughed so hard my eyes came out. That was you. I that was me. Shit's Creek is amazing. If you haven't seen it, watch Shit's Creek. Nobody it's clicks hilarious. Your and nobody watches your like Netflix recommendations. Oh, and the deep voice guy that opens each show says Jared with a D, not Jarrett with a T goes to the hmm. movies. He's a but he's a I, you know what? I spelled something wrong. Did I say spelt or did I say spelled just now? Spelt. You don't know. You spelled it it sounds just, exactly. You said spelt. Calm down oh, ooh. when people call you Jared. <laughs> totally All right, spelt. guys. Well, thank you so very much for uh, listening to this podcast. It's only 1214. It's all super quickie, little guy. We'll see you down the road. Ooh. I like you more than a friend. Most of all, we'll see you. I like you more than a friend. Sarah, Sarah Thomas is our podcast. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I have not ever. Well, I listened to it one time and last time.